luckily, because we are professionals who, who time the music to go hand in hand. So anyway, how's everyone doing today? How's the uh, mic volume? Let me, let me actually check to make sure like the main screen actually works this time. Oh, that's, oh, it actually does. Great. We're, we're professionals here at the Jad's, Jad's tournament stream. Anyway, let me, let me get the bracket sorted. All but one competitor has, has, who has signed up is here. Let me actually, let me fix this. Let me, let me get rid of these. We don't need these. Professional streaming environment. Here is our bracket. Uh, I can't see it because it's really small on my side, but sure you can if you uh, squint your eyes really hard. Anyway, looks like first up we're gonna have Poor Dexel versus Caps. Let me ping them on Discord real quick. Poor Dexel versus Caps. So how this is going to work, there is a room code inside the pin messages on the Guilty Den Discord. Um, you go, you enter the room, wait for, uh, wait for me to spectate, and then we will begin the match. So hopefully we're going to have a great tournament today, folks. Is it okay if I say folks? I'm not folksy enough to say folks. We have a fine crop of competitors today. So Caps is loading in. He is currently fighting the hardest boss, which is the loading screen. The true champion of Guilty Gear Strive. By the way, how is the music to my voice volume? Is the auto balancing, audio balancing fine? It's good? Okay, that's good. What's a second annual biannual weekly mean? Uh it means exactly what it says. I don't I don't know what what you mean. Anyway, we are here with the first match. Looks like both of our competitors are here. We have Pordexel versus Caps. Um any and any second now. Uh, okay, and here we go into the first match of the tournament: Poor Dexel versus Caps Doorman. We have May versus Axel. This is a very Axel favorite. This is a very May favorite match. So typically, what's going to happen here in this matchup is that Axel is going to try to keep, try to fight for his life to keep Do May out. Um, but. <laughs> May has all the tools to just run at him. So jumping in with the uh, J uh, JH ending. Oh, goes for the command throw, but misses. Dolphin jumping in, gets hit by the 6P. That's punishable. So typically, what May wants to do here, she can jump in really easily against Axel. Oh, good command throw by Capstone Man. Doing the events and air follow up, misses the anti air. Oh, runs up, tries with the command throw, but gets the the uh, the seal instead. Uh, that happens to me a lot. Oh, very good RC. I need to do the combo and uh, round one going to Prodexel. Very very strong soul for Prodexel right now. Very good anti air. Got the combos. First thing to get out the corner. Prodexel going. Goes to the meaty. Tries to throw the H dolphin, but it trades. Jump. Is this a confirm? No? 
does the uh, Ransom follow up, Ransom Bomber. Running up. Goes for the frame trap, goes for the vertical dolphin. That is plus on block, and then he, Forward Axel just runs up and grabs Axel. Caps the door, man. Down 0 1 against Poor Dexel's May. First, and get out of the Dolphin pressure. That is that is an unblockable Vincent follow up, by the way. Um, no one has ever blocked that in the history of their life. Um, gets hit out of the Renson. Drops the combo a little bit too far for the Dolphin follow up. To jump back age from uh, from Axel. Okay, runs in follow ups. Gets jumps in, but runs up and grabs RC. Wall break? Does he have these? He has them. And back to neutral. Caps gets hit by the, uh, the jump age by May. Very strong tool in this matchup. Slide at the start. Goes for the midi. First immediately. Rents an air follow up, but misses. Gets hit by the dolphin counter hit. Runs up, it throws. Misses the midi timing and gets thrown out the corner. Goes up for the, bait, uh, the uh, baited pack. Man throw. Codexel going for the throw. RCs. But I don't think he gets much of all up, but the he beats the base of Meaty with the with the super. Goes for the command throw right away. Can you follow us up? I think if you just did 2H, you probably would have gotten it. Oh, he gets aired, aired by the uh, jump H. Burst. Gets a meter. That. That was a great confirm by the RC. And we have Hodexel taking game two. So right now the score is currently 2-0 for Dexel uh, Caps. Mankind new. And we're going to game three. Duel let's see if one. we can let's see if Caps can make the adjustment in this match. So, that's good. Uh that's the best. But gets aired aired by the jump age. Maze jump age is just a menace in this matchup. Jump H action, going for the H Dolphin. He's plus on block, runs up, tries with the command throw, but gets a uh, 6k instead. Um, jump H. Goes for the frame traps for Dolphin. That's a, that, you have to block that high. And then he jabs him out. So we're on game two. We're on set point for Protexel. Gets a close to the S for the uh, anti air. Just for the air to air. Jump edge. Buck gets hit by the jump H by May. May. Axel's in the corner. Very good in air anti air follow up. Switches uh, corner sides. May didn't get the punish on the Axel follow up. Very good combos from the May player. Goes for the six H, but gets hit by Sickle Storm. Goes for the command grab, but it gets jumped. That's the dolphin. Good job. But gets hit by the jump H, and that is our first set. So Caps has been sent to losers bracket. Um, very good showing by Pordexel here. Um, so let us see. So we have three zero from Pordexel, and our next match will be snail a uh, snail or slug. Versus Picha. Sorry, it's a uh, Picea. Um, sorry to mispronounce that name once again. It's neither. What do you mean it's neither? You told me it was Picha. Anyway, let us go into our next match. Um, we have Picha versus Snailer Slug. Snailer Slug going for the Anji, and Picha going for the Zato. In, in last turn, we had Picha going for the uh, Milia, but you know, Milia is the bottom is is the worst character in the game. So obviously, you have to switch to the uh, top tier like uh, Zato. So let's see how this matchup goes. I have no idea who wins this matchup, but I assume uh, it's Zato favored because Anji is is Man, not a good character. That they cannot change. Some Dual one. Anyway, going into game one, number one. Capture. We have the disgusting white Zato. Uh, I... 
just just from this, I can tell you for a fact that I, I want Peach to lose. Because anybody who picks White Zato deserves to lose the game. Okay, Zato getting anti-aired. Reflects the, the butterfly. Now you're in the Zato Vortex. Tries to spin out, but can't because Eddie's too strong. Pujin low, uh, low follow-up. It's in the air. Summons Eddie, but gets uh, gets hit out of the air. Wake up throw, gets him out of the corner. Goes for the super, but you can hit him out of it, that's not invincible. Gets hit by the Pujin. No, uh, no RC on the follow-up. And Zato hits him with the close strong. Or, close slash. Back, Pujin low follow-up. It's typically when you see Fujin, you have multiple different follow-ups. Fujin low follow-up is is probably the safest one, but it's still punishable at close ranges. Fujin low follow-up once again. Stops it going away to get the uh, get Eddie back. He summons Eddie. Time for some mix-ups, but burst to get him out of there. Sato has no Eddie right now. Gets hit by the low follow-up to Fujin once again. Goes for the leap and attacks a throw. After the leap, uh, Anji is pretty minus on block, so you can actually punish him pretty heavily if you respond fast enough. But Zato getting the big damage combos in the corner and taking game number one against Nailer Slug. Congratulations. You work for the Very strong showing from from uh Pikachu. Duel one. Let's run. Wait, air to air. Split. Grabs him out of the fusion. Runs up, goes to the meaty. First to get out of there, he would have taken a lot of damage. Gets hit by the low follow uh, fusion follow up. First to get him out of there. Zato currently has some Eddie gauge, but he is currently in the corner. Does the wake up grab and gets him out of there. Gets hit by the meaty. Fujin low follow up. RC goes to the oppose. Gets hit by the uh, by the frog, but doesn't convert off of it. Jumping in, even though you don't have any Eddie gear, he goes for the super counter super, but uh, Pika just says no. He tried for the overhead Fujin follow up, but he gets hit out of it with the 2K. It's auto guarded. Uh, gold, or, uh, gold burst out of there. Right. Zato has full meter. Goes for full screen super, even though he already had Betty Gauge. Destroy. Okay, Goes for the low once again. Trying to jab him out of him. Can follow up. Jumps, but he texts out the throw. Very smart. Goes for the overhead. R sees it before he can block it, but then Pika just grabbed him. So smart. Executed. To the super, he has full Eddie gate. Eddie's out, he gets hit by the frog, but doesn't convert off of it. Fujin, low follow up once again. He's minus like six, I believe. And the charge dust takes game number two. Wait, it's it's 2 0, right? I completely, I'm completely spacing out. It's 2 0, uh, Picho, right? Run up zero. Do you mind? Burst to get him out of there. Gets hit by the frog. This is a lot of damage, but then he just bursts out of there. Good air to air. It's anti air to Anji from approaching. Sato now has full Eddie gauge. There's a follow up. That's it. Whiff punishes the Bujin. You're in, a, you're in an Eddie sandwich. Sab's, Sab's dream. Runs up. Bujin. Jump. But Sato able to grab him in time to punish the, the leap. Gets the overhead, but gets hit out of it. Goes for the butterfly and some Fujin follow up. Pose, you're gonna take a lot of damage here, but no conversion follow up. Now I believe it. Now I believe it's on match point. More for Picha. Grabs him out of the auto guard. Eddie, big damage. Frog wall burst. Alright, so he's he's currently back in neutral. There's no Eddie Gauge. First to get out of there. Now Zato has Eddie Gauge. Blocks the Fujin follow-up low. Gets him, he gets hit. But burst coming out. 
That screen. Super. Eddie's out. Eddie's behind you. What are you gonna do? You're in an Eddie sandwich! Losing your nerve. Doing another, doing another super. Eddie, watch out! Eddie's behind you! But no, he gets out of there. Split. Grabs him after the whiff throw, and that is, I believe, 3 0 Picha. Very strong showing on the Zato. Amazing what you can do when you're no longer playing a bottom tier character like Zmilia. Very, very strong showing here today. Let me, let me switch the scene back to the brackets. All right, so it looks like our next match already we have Shiva uh, Shivavra versus Pordexel. Shivavra. See. Super Sucker is here on the Faust. Faust versus May. See what the Bagman can do. Sh Shivabra is showing some extreme confidence in their ability. Yeah, I know I'm still in the brackets. Of course, I still know that. Why would- yeah, I- I totally knew that. Shut up. I'm great. Thank you. I- I, I actually didn't know. <laughs> anyway, we're going in to game number one of Shivabra versus Pordexel, Faust versus May. So this- this matchup consists of Faust running for his life against the May, who's trying to run in and- and Man, whack him. Duel one. Let's, Let's see what run. happens. So the two can ground start. Zoning out May the best, best he can. It's up 2k. Throws and gets bananas. That's not what you want to see. Dive kick. Back bomb. Stab. You can uh, even on block, uh, even on a hit on that overhead, if it's not a counter hit, you can 6p it. Grabs him. Punishing him for the whip jump. In the corner versus Faust. RC first to get out so that he doesn't get the, the wall braid. Rage. Gets hit by the grab. Uh, gets hit. Blocks dolphin. Sorry. First the block dolphin. Big damage in the corner versus May. Neutral jump to beat the dolphin. Stabs him. Gets it. Can he get the just timing? And that is game number one. Very strong showing by Shivabra, keeping the May out. Back, except by the jump H, runs in and grabs him. In the, the main mix up. It's hit by the H Dolphin, that's a lot of damage. Oh no. You don't want to jump against that H Dolphin. It's, it hits him into the air to, with the jump dust. That's his offense. But RC is back and does the 2H. Oh my god, Portexel is actually playing so good. Jumps up, runs up and grabs him once again. This is the meaty setup. H Dolphin, you're plus on block after that. Oh, does the shimmy and baits out the the uh, throw. Runs up. Shabapa going for the meaty. Gets the anvil. Oh, but he's in the air at the perfect time to not get punished by it. And that's game number one going to Port Exel. Very good conversions coming from Bordexel. Dual one. Let's rock. Yo, why have I not played Bordexel's Bay? It's another air with bag. It's a bomb. Goes for the command throw, but he's just out of range. That's very unfortunate. With the bomb. He's getting hit by dolphins. Where's the mix? Goes for up dolphin. Does it? The May doesn't go for the jump, uh, jump P. Hit him in the air once again, so he gets punished. May going for the Mateys. H Dolphin, he's plus on block, runs up, tries, I guess that was probably command throw. What's up, Dolphin? Ligma. 
anyway. Jump H. It's hit. Big damage. Doesn't get the dolphin connection from that uh, 2 H. Just dolphining him, but he bursts to get out of there. Jumps, beats him, uh, beats the scalpel. Gets counter hit. Oh, doesn't get the, com the follow up combo. Right, jumps off and gets hit in the ground. Once again, misses the, the jump P to stop that. To make it safe, the dolphin safe. But wake up super. Takes the round. And that is 2 0 Port Axel. Actually, wait. Yeah, it's 2 0 Port Axel. It's gonna hit. Overhead. Meteors. Overhead. Scalpel. Oh, gets hit by the scalpel, but doesn't get actually stabbed. Doesn't get golf club. Jump tries to go for the overhead, but gets hit and burst, and then burst is blocked. Jump H. It's hit. H Dolphin. He's plus on block after that. Trying to run up. More dolphins. Didn't have charge to follow up with the uh, counter hit uh, R slash. Goes for the wake up super, but he RCs it back and punishes, but unfortunately not a counter hit, so it didn't combo. Goes to the meaty once again. Up dolphin. He tried. I'm sure that was a command throw. That had to be a command throw. And Faust taking the game. Dolphins. Dolphins. Gets hit. Gets hit from the dolphin from the 2K. Ends up 6P. Mix, mix, mix. Anvil's coming out, but doesn't get hit because he's in the air from the burst. Wait, Dolphin. Very close. Mix, mix, mix. Runs up 2K, but wake up super. Once again, he's a menace, but he gets hit by the 6H. Oh, this is... This is a lot of damage. You can't burst that. That's a burst save. Oh no. Oh, I'm going for the full combo items. Who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, gets hit by two bombs. Gets the, gets the trumpet. Gets hit by the scalpel. Goes for the overhead. Can he make it back? But no, gets hit by the jump H. Dual three. Let's rock. Ultimate mix up. Match point for Prodexel. Finds the scalpel. Gets hit by the dive kick, goes for the overhead. Gets hit by the scalpel out of the dolphin. It's okay, but bursts out to get saved. Runs up and gets the, gets the uh, eats him. Overhead. Trying to anti air him. Oh, he gets the Faustling. Faustling saves his life there. Oh, gets meteors, gotta watch out! Oh no, he only went, he went for the overhead, but wasn't able to convert off of it. Oh, he gets the command grab! I think he's dead. No, he's not dead yet, but he's probably dead here from the Afro exploding. And he. And Shiva Abra staying alive in this winner's bracket. 2 1. Hordexel versus Shiva Abra with a very strong meteor showing. That was amazing. I love Faust. By the Dolphin. Dive kick. It's the bag. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, it doesn't get the wall break, unfortunately. Kind of hit. But burst him out of there. H Dolphin. He's plus. Cordexel seems to always go for the H Dolphin after the uh, the uh, frame trap. Something to keep in mind in the future. So, what you can typically do if they go for the H Dolphin is you can probably jab them out, or pretty much anybody will beat it. But preferably just, you know. Just like feel it off him, you know. Super. Goes through the overhead, but throws him. Match point once again for Pedexel. Runs up. Spousling is out there! There's an outro. Hammers. Hammers. He weaves through the hammers! Plus. Oh, he went for the command grab. I I know what that that uh that six uh, K looks like. I'm a May player. Jibabra on a sliver of life goes for the super, cancels it. Very smart to get uh, get safe. He's on his pixel, but he gets hit by the far slash. And Pordexel takes it three uh, three one in this winner's bracket.
Uh, I believe we're going to save the next match, Mr. Phantasmo versus Dragon, for uh, the last of the set, because Dragon said that they might need some extra time. So up next, it looks like what we're going to be seeing is Beanie Bee, the champ, versus Reese. That was a very that was a very good game. Good job, Chivabra. Pordex is looking really strong in this tournament. Let me tell ya. I am I am thoroughly impressed with that level of May play. Reese is on their way. Beanie B, the champ! Is Beanie B gonna keep playing the gold deck? Yo, I, re I respect. The, uh, the room code is in pins. So here we have... I don't know what Reese plays. I don't think I've played Reese before. Um, but I know Beanie Bee plays Gold Lewis or either Nag Nagori or Yuki. Oh, Reese is a- Oh, Reese is a- Is a chip main? Man sexer! Let's go! We're going in to game number one. Reese versus Beanie Bee. Chip versus Nago. I have no idea who wins this matchup. I assume that, you know, Chip just does chip things and runs around. Duel one. Playing the birthday train. I respect the choice. Game run gets hit. Gets a hit. Oh, accidental miss, miss input on the beta boy. Tried probably tried for Rekka. Does the can uh, amazing Canadian first. Once again, does a DP. Goes straight into the super. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this is Chip. Oh no. That is, that is evaporation. Dual two. Round two. Six P. Oh, goes for the command grab and gets it! What's the mix? Goes for the overhead? FD's in his face! Thank you. Rekka, follow up. Goes for the command grab. Gets it. He has so much blood to spend, and he's probably dead. Oh my god. Chip just exploding to this Nogoriyuki. Beanie Bee, the champ, taking game number one. Oh, Dragon is here. So we'll, we'll have that match next. Beyblade catching him. Goes uh, for the Rekka and then command grabs. Command grabs once again! Oh no, the BM! Goes for a normal grab. If he went for the command grab a third time, that would have been just too godlike. Oh no. Oh no, BBB. Just styling on this poor chip. Beyblade once again getting the big punish. Bursting him out of there. Yeah, on board. Sent by the far slash of chip. Man grab! Oh, where's the mix gonna come? Alpha blade up! This is a meaty. He goes back. Fates out something. Can you keep up? Double Fukio! But he wakes up super to beat the 6P! So smart! Oh command grab, but he wakes up super like a Oh my god. I'm disgusted with what I just saw here. I think I don't think anybody won that round. Let's be real here. Nobody won that round. Dual one. 2-0. Beanie B. Beyblade catching him first. Steps him. Goes forward. He's in the corner. Pukio forward, goes for the regular grab, but bursts out when he gets punished for whipping it. Wall break. I'm, I'm expecting Pukio forward into command grab. Oh, he, he has so much blood! If he just blocked! If Chip just blocked, he would have gotten uh, into blood rage. Pukio forward. Pukio forward. 
Nagio. Nagio just pressing button. Double dash. But he gets hit by the regular grab. Oh, respecting the wake up. Not sure why. Command grab catches him once again. His blood meter is rising. Oh, goes for the command grab again. Oh, it's... oh, he goes for it a third time, but he punishes the air. He take the round from the champ. Goes for the command grab again. RC, he's dead. No. Alpha Blade, he takes a round. Reese with the reeds. Call him reeds. I'm, I'm good at words. Anyway, we're going into game number three. This is Katie. Beta Blade to beat the uh, the 2K. Going forward, but he's in Blood Rage. Just block. Just block. No. Just block. Oh. So, so Alpha Blade dashes out of there. Runs up, but gets hit by the Beyblade. And Beanie Bee taking it in a convincing 3 0 against Reese. Even though Reese had the most godlike reads I've ever seen. Good job. Do not wallow in defeat. Congratulations, Beanie Bee, continuing on the winner's bracket. Reese getting sent to losers. So we have. Up next, we're gonna have Mr. Phantasmo versus. Dragon. Sorry, let me. So here's what the brackets currently look like. All right. BB has left the room. The champ, now that his work is done. All right, we're going in. Oh wait, we're not. We're not going in. I lied to you. I'm sorry for being a liar. So we're waiting on Dragon. Dragon said they were here. All right, I think that's him. All right, here we go. We have Soul Bad Guy, Mr. Phantasmu, on the Soul Bad Guy versus Dragon. Great vegetables. Great vegetables, great Fujin on the Anji. We have the top tier versus the bottom tier. Battle of the Lifetime. Duel one. A very classic music comes in the background. So the run up gets anti aired from the close slash, but Anji bursts out. Drunk of the air approach, but spins through the gun flame, but no punish. Fan of a revolver. RC. Fan of bringer, he's got the combo. You're in the corner! Gets Fafnir all the damage! Great vegetables! And a perfect. Coming from Soul Bad Guy, showing him that vegetables are not good. He's a meat eater. This one. Goes for the tick throw. Jump flame. Goes for the path near, but gets jumped in on. First out, he's still in the corner against Soul Bad Guy. Gets hit by the. Gets counter poked. Blocks the Tyrant Rave, but no follow up punish, unfortunately. Runs up for the throw. Wake up DP! Y you hate to see it! And that was a clean hit too, so, you know. Soul Bad Guy doing Soul Bad Guy things. And it tries for the tick throw, but misses it. Fujin, low, low follow up. Runs up, RC is into the tick throw. Goes for the butterfly. Fujin, low follow up. RC goes for the tick throw again, but it hits hit by the 2k. And Fanta. We'll take Stop game number one time. versus Great Vegetables. Man. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, no punish on the bandit, bandit revolver. Ends up for the throw. Mades, midi. Frame trap. Gets hit out of the air. Bandit bringer. Oh, this is this is a lot of damage. Oh, a little bit too low for that first bait. 
Thumbs up. Gun flying buzzed them. Auto guard didn't uh, go through it in time. I 100% expected the the wake up DP there. Good on Panta for for waiting it out. Did you come through the throw? Butterfly goes for the raw dust. I'm not sure what that uh that uh Dame Dane is doing. Kanji, low follow up, but no RC. It's minus on block, but at that range, it's not punishable, I don't believe. Yeah, it's not punishable on block at that range. Tick throw once again, but he has burst, and he does it. Vortex! Oh, the, the cheap stuff. You hate to see it. Just, you know, soul things. Vor random Vortex into RC punish. 2 0. Soul bad guy. Versus Anji. Can Anji make the uh, can great vegetables make the the adjustment needed to take down Soul Bad Guy? This is the midi. Loku can follow up, but couldn't juggle. Hit by the DP. Oh, hits him out of the air. Very good. Wake up uh 5k and throws him once he lands. Fujin. Low follow up once again. That wasn't a punish, he just wasn't blocking. Or he tried to jump or backdash. Oh, tried to do the uh, uh, run up throw, but he backdashed it. Wasn't able to catch the backdash with the blue, uh, blue RC. And great vegetables will take the take the round, punishing that whip of the 5K. Now he's in the corner versus Soul. Gets hit by the sick throw. Meaty? Oh, he goes for the- he tries for the meaty, but he mistimes it a little bit. Wake up, Tyrant Rave! Uh, I'm- I am visibly disgusted by this turn of events. Both people still have bursts. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Why does he get so much damage off of a full screen vortex? Going the throw. RC, big damage. Oh! Didn't hit with the gun flame. He's a bit too high for that. Fujin. Overhead. Big damage. Wall break? No. With something and then uh, gets hit by the. Oh! Great counter! Great counter by great vegetables. Okay. 6P. And Fanta takes it pretty convincingly. 3-0 in this boy. winner bracket. So Dragon, Great Vegetables, will be sent to losers. And Mr. Fan Phantasma will be going, continuing on to winner's bracket. Uh, let us look at the bracket sheet right now. Alright, so up next, we have Mr. Mr. D versus... Well, that's that's not who. Versus Bloopy. Come on down. This is now the price is right. Call me Bob Barker. <clears throat> we have Bloopy on the Ram Lethal. And we have Mr. D on the I'm not actually sure who Mr. D plays. Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch, watch, watch the profanity, please. This is a this is a child-friendly stream. No fucking swearing, please. Um, the the code is in the pin tab on the Discord. Room. Check pins for the code. While we wait, let me let me give a brief shout out to the sponsor of this tournament, which is Publix. Uh, unfortunately, Publix chicken tender subs are not currently on sale, but they are the greatest subs on the universe. Um, every every time you eat a Publix chicken tender sub, um, you you're gonna be happy. That's that's basically that's that's how I describe happiness is um in Publix chicken tender subs.
Got disconnected when joining the room. Hey guys, long time donator, third time donator. It gives me great joy to donate to a great cause. Greetings from Germany. P.S. View the animals, donate the viewers. Thank you. Thank you, Plo, for the uh, the outstanding donation. Greetings from Germany. We are waiting on, I believe, Mr. Mr. D to join us in the room. Shivabra showing that they are the greatest loser's bracket competitor by being the only person. If I can't get in a kin in a minute or two, DQ me. Okay, so we will give we will give Mr. D until 142 or 143. Um, I have no idea what time zone that is for you, or what time that is for you viewing at home, but for me. That is in one minute, so we will give Mr. D one minute before, uh, before giving Bloopy the bye. Shivabra is currently the most winner of the loser's bracket, so... At the end of the day, all that really matters is giving a good show. And by doing gold bursts and what's this, 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 this... You know, that's, that's... That's all we really care about. Unfortunately, we don't have any Kai players to show us some sick dragon install tech. Um, is there a bracket posted? Uh, yes, there is a bracket posted. Um, here, I'll, I'll put the link in, in Twitch chat. I'm allowed to do that. This is my stream. Sorry, this is the people stream. I'm here for the people. So, unfortunately, Mr. D is unable to join us this uh, this evening, this afternoon. So, by their request, I will I will DQ them. Congratulations, Bo Bloopy, from continuing on in the winners bracket. Um, that is unfor that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, or we can postpone it. Yeah, let's 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 actually let's do that. Let's 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 do that. Oh shoot, I I actually messed up. Um, um. Yeah, let's let's reopen that. So up next, up next we have a fury of owls versus. Number one low tier player, Picha. Picha is currently resetting Strive, so it will take anywhere from 30 seconds to 6 years for them to load up. What? How do you say the name? If it's not, if it's not, uh, if it's not Picha, you, you told me it was Picha. You told me it was Picha. It's not Piscia. It's not Pika. P 
PIE CIA. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay. Here, let's 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 listen. Let's listen. Kitcha. Kitcha. Pietcha. Kitcha. 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 See, it's Pietcha. Kitcha. Or is it Pietcha? Kitcha. Pietcha. You keep. Just because you type, the name doesn't tell me how it's pronounced. Kitcha. Kitcha. Pietcha. Is it Pietcha? Kitcha. It sounds like a cha sound. Kitcha. 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 Pietcha. Ja? Kitcha. Pietcha? Sorry, sorry, I'm American. We we don't have these 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 noises. These mount, mouth noises. Kitcha. Pietcha. Kitcha. Okay, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the it looks like the room is broken. So let me remake the room. Um, yeah, let me let me remake the room. Network. Piaja. Okay, Piaja. That's very that's very uh weird to say. Yeah, it's the, it's the people's room. It's the people's room. Welcome. D U X F Y F. It's Polish for five. Uh, Shiv, can you uh, can you repin the the new room code, please? What do you mean, Shiv? What do you mean, Shiv? Sorry, am I not- am I pronouncing the- the I? Even though there's not supposed to be an I? Yeah, it's Shivabra. What do you mean there's no I? Words- words need vowels. You can't just have- not have vowels. I don't know what th this means, but sure, I'll I'll try it. Shvabra. knew that they cannot change society. Shvab? So instead of reflecting on themselves, okay. they blame the beast. Anyway, we have the disgusting white Zato, Piaja. Versus, I actually didn't. Versus Giovanna. Fury of Owls versus Piaja. Can we get this over with? More like a furry of owls. <laughs> Let us begin. They're, they're, they're not skipping the intro. Okay. Ready to rock. Let's go. Zato versus Giovanna. Piaja versus a Fury of Owls. Zato running up, going for the frog. Going opposed, but resummon it, recalling Uddy. Goes for the dust, gets a full conduct. Dust first coming out. And he's behind you. Just oppose in front of your face. Oh no, this pressure. Gold burst in the face. I don't know what Piaget's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. No one knows what he's doing. Okay. No Eddie pressure there. Summon Eddie. He gets hit by the frog. Resummons Eddie. Frog goes to the low this time instead of going for the dust. Jabs him out of the overhead pressure. Hit by a Geo. Jump in. Oh, this is a lot of damage. If he RCs, he's probably dead. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Think of the RC. Just a just a sliver of life. Goes for the uh 
Perfect. Goes to the first. Um, hits Eddie, but gets hit by the jump in from Zato. Very strange round one. Dash up far slash by Giovanna. You're behind Eddie. Oh, Eddie gets hit. Oh, no, he got bopped, but no conversion off of the close slash. Huh. Flying away. It's all time for Eddie to come back in the corner versus Giovanna. Frame trap pressure. You're not allowed to play the game. It's not your turn yet. Eddie comes out, tells him, no, it's my turn. Gets hit. Eddie's dead. The delayed, uh, delayed kick catches the button. Gets hit by the meaty. 6P gets him out of the corner. Eddie. Eddie pressure. Eddie's not there anymore. It's also jumping in. He has Eddie gauge. Gets air to air by Giovanna. Round three. Starting up. Goes to, the, goes to the DP. This is big damage. Oh. Doesn't get the full combo, unfortunately. Will slash. Goes for the overhead once again. Tries to, uh, slash. Pressure gets, hits him with the 6P out of the dash. I think he blocked this, right? Yeah. Very good block. But he's behind you. He recalls Eddie at the last second and bursts out. More pressure, tick throw, and Giovanna taking game number one. Showing the white Zato who's boss. What? You hungry? Duel one. Let's rock. Alright, jabbing out. Oppose. Set the overhead. Bates the uh, throw with the neutral jump. Gets hit by the end of the pose. No split. Blocks the uh, cut. First out of there. Trades first back. Geo has a lot of meter. Gets hit by the 6P. That is a very good reaction 6P. I think he might be able to block here. But unfortunately, Eddie is dead, so the there's no big uh, big punish there. But far slash. Running in. It's Geo's turn. Can't be pressing buttons versus Geo. 6P is out of there. Super. Eddie's summoned. Awesome. Eddie's still here. Frog coming out. Eddie's not there anymore. He can't protect you. But he hits him with the jump H. Hit. Oh, slash. Goes for the overhead. Delay very good delay to uh, S. Catch the buttons. Super. He's not dead, but he will be able to get a meaty off of this. Opts to not go for it. A good shade, but gets hit by the uh, gets hit by the uh, jump in from Giovanna. XP. Whiffs, but no punish from Giovanna. Oh, what is what is this? What is this? What is this pressure? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, Frog coming out. Eddie, Eddie's alive. RC. Eddie's stabbing him. Frog behind you. But he bursts out of there. RC. In the corner. Giovanna, this should be a wall break. Sorry, Back to neutral. Gio has some bar left. No, neither has burst. It's for the 2D. With a throw, but no punish by Giovanna. Runs up and throws after the RC. Hits him with the meaty, and Giovanna, Fury of Owls is up 2-0 versus Piaja. What? You hungry? Giovanna. That that drunkard shade pressure. I, I I don't I don't know what that was. I I was scared. God, I wish that were me. Oh God. Missed. Misses the throw off the. Off of the uh, uh, jump age. Runs up and throws. Goes for the tries for the meeting, but mistimes it just a little bit. Lock him out. Summon the 2k. Resummons Eddie. Stabbing him. But uh, 5k. Kills Eddie. Tries to anti air at the super, but unfortunately there's no hitbox there. What is what what is that? That that's not a real that's not a real mix up. That just has to be a true block string, right? Anyway, just a sliver left and goes for the throw. 
Slap. A Fury of Owls is on match point. Duel two. Let's rock. Runs up, gets a throw, and he's coming out. He's behind. Oh, summons the opposed, but some resummons him back real quick. He's like that engaged. He gets hit by the anti-air, but no follow-up, unfortunately. First half of the corner. Oppose. Can't be pressing buttons against the oppose. Catches him on the back dash. Runs up far slash. Catches him being defensive. Medes goes for the overhead. Hits him with the meaty once again, but no conversion follow-up. Can Piaget make a comeback? Goes for the overhead. Summons Eddie. That's punishable. Draw coming out. You're in the you're in the Zato Vortex post coming out. Losing your nerves. That's throwable. And he throws it. A Fury of Owls. Takes it. 3-0 versus Piaja. True, but a Jaguar cut might be stronger. Congratulations, a Fury of Owls, for taking it. And continuing on in winner's bracket. Piaja with the uh with a low tier character going to loser's bracket. So I was told that uh, Mr. D and Bloopy were both ready, so let us let us call them up and say, Mr. Mr. D versus Bloopy. Come on down! Hopefully. Alright. Looks like we are going in to game number one of Bloopy versus uh, Mr. D, Dying Will, on the Soul Bad Guy. Let me give you a, a secret about playing Bloopy. Bloopy wakes up supers every single time. So, if you just block on their wake up, you get a free punish. Easy. Don't, don't let me, you know. Okay. We're in uh, turbo mode right now. Catching up. Some of the CD runs up, runs up the throw, gets the jump in. In the corner versus Ram. Oh no! That wasn't even a reversal. That was just uh, just did it. Blood's coming out. Bandit revolver goes to the meaty, but misses a little bit. Tries for the wake up super, but instead just does a one hit confirm. Um, respect it. In the corner versus Ram, and he presses a button and gets hit by the sword. He'll be taking round number one on the Ram Lethal. What is that win animation? Blood coming out. Bloopy jumping. Jumps in against Soul. And goes to the throw. In the corner versus Ram. This is a wall break, but he drops the combo and gets grabbed. Now you're in the corner versus Soul, but he bursts out. Jumps in. Goes for the throw, but unfortunately that was a counter hit, so he had to time it a little bit later. Tries to 6p something. I'm not sure what he tried to 6p. Don't look away. The throws because he's he's scared of the uh, bar slash. That's the ram special. Is that when you're trying when you're thinking you oh I'm just gonna block the far slash um, five H, the ram just runs up and either throws you or does two K two D. In the corner. Try for the conversion, but unfortunately a little bit too far for the punish. Recovery is pretty fast. Can't uh, miss time the swords a little bit, but checking connection. Oh no! Wake up time at Ram, he's blocking. And Sloopy will be taking game number one. Strong showing by Bloopy. Did he have meter RC? I didn't I didn't I didn't check. And now you're in the corner versus Soul. He's gonna be pressing all of his far slashes. No follow-up gunplay. Just jumps out of there. Some of the but the uh, but the gold burst. Can't really get much conversion in mid screen without RC as Ram. Except by the far slash Bandit revolver, RC misses the follow up conversion and someone's ISP is uh, dropping out. But he gets the follow-up hit and takes the round with the wall slot. 
Duel two. Mr. D fighting for his life in this one is bracket. Banded revolver. Double jump. Goes for the jump age. Gold burst. Soul has meter. This is frightening. He's gonna vortex. He's gonna vortex. Okay, he doesn't vortex. He wants to though. Jump in. Goes for the throw once again. Double jump. Goes for the so hard to anti-air, but the back dash beats the gets hit by the path near. In the corner, uh no follow-up. Oh no! His sword! It's on the other side of the screen, but he TPs to get him uh beat the uh Rekka. Tries the vortex. I told you he was gonna vortex, but he did it after he had no meter. Left. First, except by the Fafnir and follow up six, uh, six S, taking the game. Mister D taking it one one, challenging Shivabra for the uh, number one, for the number one loses bracket. It, that's of course if uh, Mister D loses. So the sword, perfect, perfect spacing. Oh, goes with the air throw. The reeds he doesn't have the sword, so he can't follow up. First one, he could have, you know, he could have punished that. Goes with the air sword, goes with the two D. In the air, Playing swords. Catches the back dash with the sword throw. I don't think that would have gotten a wall spot combo, but might have. Can't get cocky. Duel two. Fafnir. He could have he could have followed that up with a vortex, I believe. Bar slash, bandit revolver. Runs up, bar slash, bar slash. Oh the the big balls on the that 5k. I would not have done that. He would have he would have died. Real hard. Good conversion on the bandit revolver. Goes for the does, but the uh but interrupts it with the super Floopy going up 2 0. Oh, 2 1, sorry. We can go home now. Let's go. Mankind. Duel 1. Let's rock. Success. Uh, tries to throw him? Probably missed him, but. Okay, he had swords up. 2 H into Volcanic Viper. Oh, that conversion! There's no way that that was actually a combo. Intentional combo. Oh. Just just being a basketball. Doing so bad guy things. I don't even know what he got hit with there. Get saved to area with the jump edge. Vortex. Oh, that's big damage. Raw Vortex. I don't know why he did that. Or what he was looking for there. Yeah, overhead. He'll be jumping in, gets an anti air. 6S, six, six but no uh, follow up gun flame, so that was unsafe. Gets him out of the path there. First stop, and puts him, first him out. Dragon and Soul. I think this is a punish? Oh, he jumps out. Could have probably sword thrown, but he supered and gets a wall break too. Ram super. You know, has the range of the entire screen. If you look at the hitbox on Dust Loop, it's just a it's just an entire red box of the size of the screen. And it Souls is currently jumping a lot, so what Bluebe might wanna consider doing is doing some jump back S's to try to anti-air him. Jumping but Time Rib, I think he lands in time. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Bloopy wants to. Bloopy wants to super. Bloopy needs to super. Bloopy has never wanted anything more in their life than to super. Super right now. I told. I told. I called it. I called it. You saw it. I saw it. We all saw it. We all saw it. Bloopy taking it three one against Soul Bad Guy with the super. We all, we all, we all knew that that super was coming. Let's go, Bloopy.
All right. Am I on the bracket screen? Yes, we are on the bracket screen. So it looks like up next, we have a Muser name versus Elsa. See who Elsa plays. Last tournament, Elsa was playing the Potemkin. But I know Elsa has been playing a garbage character, aka Milia, the worst character in the game. Bottom three, by the way. Does Elsa believe? Do do you believe, Jads? Do you believe, chat? Who believes? Type one in chat if you believe. Type two in chat if you also believe. Just press some buttons if you believe. No one's pressing buttons, no one believes. So we are going in to game number one of Amusing Name versus Elsa. Amusing Name with the with the Celestial. Repping the Celestial Mankind Flare. That they cannot change society. So Elsa is a believer. On themselves, People pressing buttons. The beasts. Showing us the cool intro. Right, I'm here. Go on. Heaven or hell. Millie's just just looking at this and just like, come on, bro. You can run. I won't mind. No more messing around, eh? Axel versus Millie. We have the Lily soundtrack going on. Fortunately, it's a it's an original piece, so the sound balancing is all kinds of messed up. The best. So this this whole matchup is basically Axel trying to keep Milia from jumping in, but the second Milia touches him, Milia is just gonna keep him in the vortex. Or sees it, so he doesn't get hit. Right now, a user name has advantage, but he got hit! Oh no! You're against Milia! Time to block! Also, also being very respectful of the su of the super. So overhead, overhead low. No follow up on the 2D. That's very plus on block. Follow up snail. That was super punishable. He probably would have died if he if he blocked that. I don't actually know what Axel's uh, specials are called. That that fo Renson follow up is is unblockable. No one has ever unblocked that in the history of Guilty Gear Strive. To the overhead, R sees it to stay safe. Very smart and very convincing. Game number one from a user name managed to keep Elsa out with the Axel. Man, dual one. And going into game number two, can Elsa make the adjustment? Tim Username's very strong Axel performance so far. He following up with Renson Air follow up. Gets the anti air, but no uh, combo. Goes with the command grab instead. Keeping him out. What can what can Milia do? Milia got the hit. Where's the mix? Going for the uh, going for the overhead. Second mix time. The empty jump, baiting out the super, but a music name. Music name's not caps. A music name does not wake up super that often. Hopefully, 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 Elsa will recognize that he doesn't go for that wake up super. Person to get out of the corner. Gets anti air. That's big damage. Goes for the command grab again instead of the follow up combo. Millie has a lot of bars, so she any hit is dead. The super RCs, but. Still gets hit. Gets the anti air and takes the round. Very solid defense by Immune Name, blocking all the million mixes. Goes for the command grab. Oh! I would have gotten hit by that. That was such a weird command grab. Hitting that against Millie is so hard. Oh! Goes for the point blank command grab, but doesn't get it. You hate to see it. The hit. Tries for the snail, but. Not quite spacing it properly, it gets hit, but he manages to block the follow-up. Okay, now you're in the middle, you're in the middle of Vortex, goes for the cross-up, but bursts to get out. Now Millie is in the corner, can't follow up with the 2k, with the 2d. Snail RC, jumps over overhead, goes back, jump back, follow up with the snail. That is super punishable if he did block it. It's super scary to try to go for that. Jumping up with the uh, 
Okay. Oh, comes up 2D. No follow up once again. I believe that's actually punishable. You could probably punish that as Axel. Super pulse on block once again. Goes through the 2D. What I've noticed is that Axel is just blocking. If Emilia goes for the jump into like either the second overhead or for the throw, he'll probably he'll probably open him up more. But amusing name taking it. It's up 2-0 in this matchup of Axel versus Melia, and someone's connection is breaking. Um, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening. All right, connection has been lost, so someone disconnected. Um, or, oh. My connection disconnected. So we are currently now going to be observing the fantastic, um, the fantastic match, match via life bar. It looks like Millie is up pretty heavily against Axel. But Axel managed to get away. Axel living on with just a little a sliver of life. Axel's on a sliver. No one seems to have been taking damage. Oh! Millie took some damage. He's getting zoned out. Just a sliver left. Just any hit. Any hit, Elsa, and you'll take it. Oh no, Elsa! Oh no! And a clutch play coming in from a music named Axel. Clutching it out with just a sliver of life. Going into game no uh, round number two. Daisuke, Daisuke has uh, Daisuke has not blessed us this day, unfortunately. All right, Axel. Axel has taken the early lead. Oh, Elsa got a hit. Is this the start of Elsa Vortex? Or Vortex? Fortunately, Bloopy has has covered up our view of the health bars. Thanks, Bloopy. Oh, Alsa's doing some damage. He's got him in the vortex. Is this the comeback? Oh, but he gets out and does a big chunk of damage. That was probably wake up super. Oh, just a sliver left on Alsa's life. Anyone's game? A pixel left! Can he do it? Axel got hit! This is a comeback! With just the pick and the magic pixel! The magic pixel! He's gonna do it! And unfortunately he got hit. And that will be That'll be a muser name taking it. 3-0 against Alsa. Very good showing by both players, especially that last game, very close last game. I can't believe, I can't believe the amazing combos that we got to see that last game. Thank you, Daisuke. Thank you. Oh man. Are you ready, folks, for what's, up, what's about to happen next? We're gonna see the people's champion, Jack Chan, versus Moro. Come on down! They're both here. I am a I'm a little biased. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I uh, I want Jack to win. Just gotta ha gotta rep rep the Faust game. Okay. I feel like this is a very very bad matchup for uh for Potemkin. I feel like. I have no idea if that's true or not, but I feel like um, Faust probably has a really easy time keeping keeping Potemkin out. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So Will we see a heavenly Potemkin Buster though? That's the real question. Heaven or hell. Begin operation. Commencing mission. Versus Faust. Oh, we got the Zato theme playing. Let's rock. 
Second down at Sergeant Two. He gets meters instantly. Oh, he's just chucking. Oh no. Potemkin's didn't get the didn't get the trumpet. Six P is the the scalpel. Tries with the Gorilla impact, but doesn't connect. Mega fist. It's fucked his two D. Jack Tan just throwing items. I taught him. I taught Jack Chan the secret of just throwing items. So uh, hopefully he'll take those that advice into to account. It's hit by the uh, thing. Oh no! Gets scooped. RC. Oh, this is a lot of damage, but he's not dead, and he doesn't get a follow up from this. RC's back. Goes to the overhead stab, but gets six P. Oh, the the RC scarecrow. I think he gets hit. Yeah. Smart wake up uh, Aegis Reflector by the Potemkin. 2D goes to the Mega Fist right afterward. Jack hitting himself with the uh, the anvil. But the Potemkin Buster. Follow up, what, what are you gonna do? He just jumps out of it, misses tons of meaty. Meteor's coming in. Stab! RC's it out, but good thing Jack didn't follow up with the, the small swing. Jack realizes that uh, he's very minus on block after getting the uh, slide head. Dash in. Gets the trumpet, but he doesn't get it. RC is out. Didn't go for the uh, Potemkin Buster. He gets slapped by the big meaty fist of Potemkin. Moro taking game number one. Copy that. Awaiting next report. Duel one. Let's rock. The hammer is gonna connect. He has a bomb. Bomb coming out. Overhead. <laughs> Goes through the mix mix. Gets hit by the banana. Doesn't manage to punish the uh. Oh. That was almost a cool combo until the first happened. Blocks it. But that's punishable. Goes to the overhead once again. Looks like Moro. Looks like Jack Chan is adjusting and no longer going for the scalpel over the overhead because uh, Moro seems to be able to be in pretty well. RC goes for the meaty hollow up and the mix mix mix. Hammer coming out. Gets hit by the hammer. Has a bomb. Hit. Just throw items! Gotta God just keep throwing items. You can't really do anything if you just keep throwing items. Oh! Interrupt some meteor. That would have been big if that meteor came out. Trumpet coming out. Moro has the trumpet. Watch out, Jack! Give him the trumpet! That could have been like an insane combo. Oh, and he just runs up and bot busters! And he is dead! Dual three. Round three. Moro jumping in. Empty jump hot buster. Hate to see it. With the, with the follow up. Jack goes for the uh jabs him out of the scarecrow. No RC. Misses the pop buster just a little bit too early. Mix 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 follow up from the overhead. We have an uh, ambo coming out. Maybe. Mix mix mix. That's punishable. But not a big punish by the uh this is a hammer fall. Oh, and he gets the wake up super to beat the uh, to beat the raw dust. So smart. It was the mix coming up. Goes for the afro. Is he gonna run up into overhead? He gets hit by the the Aegis reflector. Hate to see it. Proceeding with initiative plan. Copy that. Moro up 2-0 versus Jack Chan. Duel one. Let's him in the air with the jump key. Jack is going in when he could just be pressing the uh, throwing items. He has a trumpet. Fousling coming out. This is a meaty with the Fousling. The bomb there. He's probably going to run up. He goes to the overhead, but gets hit by the slide head. Anti air. Big combo. Ooh, that's a lot of damage for Faust. There's Ant here with the jump overhead. This is the overhead. And does the overhead once again. It's a very solid poke by Faust. He needs to be careful though, because the hammer fall can just 
get in if he if he reads it. He went for the uh, he that was probably an um, the uh, empty pop buster. He goes up and gets a pop buster anyway. Garuda impact goes for the pop buster, but he jumps out, grabs him out of the air, and that's a wall spawn. That is a round match point for Moro. Let's see if Jack can make the adjustment. The overhead goes a hammer. Has a hammer. Gets hit by the hammer. Anvil coming out. Six P is the the scalpel. Goes gets the trumpet. Jack Chan has the trumpet now. Another trumpet coming out. Gets the Faustling too. This is really scary for Moro. Oh. That was not a good burst. Either way, even if he got hit, he would have gotten hit by the, the trumpet minions. Ooh. You see into the uh, the hand. Talk to the hand. The fate is saying, "Listening." Grid impact goes for the low burst out. Anybody's match at the point at the moment. Blocks the trumpet. This is a bomb. He has the trumpet and hits him with the jump dust. Jack Chan staying alive in this winner's bracket. 2 1, Moro Jack Chan. Can Jack Chan make the, the adjustment needed to, to stay in this winner's bracket? Jump. That was probably an empty jump on Pop Buster once again. Jack just pressing some. throwing some items. Yeah, he got a hammer. He could have done more follow-up items. Hammer. Bomb. Okay, once again, mix, mix, mix. RC's it to make the save. Ooh, didn't block it, but this is going to be a lot of damage. Fortunately, he doesn't get a big follow-up from this. Catches the back dash. Make a fist. Wax him to punk for punish. Housling. Gets hit by the bomb. The overhead. Ooh, raw hammer fall when he tried for the bombs. Once again, match point for Moro. The overhead gets hit by the 2D. Just throw more items. More items. Hammer. Overhead. Stabs him, but he 6Ps it. Good, an good 6p anti air. There's a bomb and foul sling, but he just pop busters. I knew that was coming. That was the only thing he could have done in that position. RC, he could have grabbed it. And instead, he gets hit by the Gruda impact. And that will be it. Moro takes it. 3 1 versus Jack Chan. Very strong sh showing by Moro in this winner's bracket. It looks like up next we have Kiwi versus the real the we real people's champ the man the myth the legend women sexer let's go let's see if we can let's see if women sexer can do it I don't know who Kiwi plays I don't know if this is a good matchup for women sexer Garuda versus Faust is fucked up? Garuda versus everyone is fucked up. Garuda is like the best meaty move in the game. Anyway, we are going in to game number one of Women's Sexer versus Kiwi. Kiwi on the Eno. Women's Sexer has a great matchup against Eno. Clear, ad clear advantage to Women's Sexer on the chip. Can he show us the true meaning of anime and friendship and take the game home for the people? Mankind. Duel one. Ah, the drip chip. Jumping in. Follow up. Goes for like a man grab because he saw it was blocking. He's in the chip vortex. Gets hit by the 6B on wake up though. I don't think that's actually a 6B. Hit our, our first out. Frame traps. Frame traps. Very convincing game one, but from Woman Sexer, 
Really showing him. Really showing how ninjas go. Jumps up. Blocks the H, uh, H throat. Once you, once you determine what is the a S stroke and what's the a H stroke, you can pretty easily determine, like, which one you can throw. That's an H stroke, you could've thrown it. That's an H stroke again, you could've thrown it. That was plus on block, but Chip doesn't care. He's too fast for that. RC to kill him? Can he do the finish? Oh, bait the burst, but no punish! And convincing game number- game one from Women's Sexer. Living up to his name. Let's go. Dual one. Let's rock. <laughs> in. In this again. This baits out the burst. You know, you know, not able to anti-air successfully that well so far. He's plus on block, but he doesn't care. Woman sexer just going in. Gets the command thrab. Goes for the up alpha blade. Jabs out of the pressure. Gets him out of the air. Bursts him out. Oh, did he get him? He got him. Showing him the power of anime with the random full screen supers. Respect it. Respect the random full screen supers. Round start 2D. Women's Sex are really showing how much better he's gotten without doing the uh, the random beta blades. And I, just as I was about to say that he did one. Um, way to, you know, way to make me feel like a fool. Jumping in, getting hit by the uh, chemical love. Throws the shuriken, but doesn't realize that shuriken is the worst button in the game. Should never press that. The TD, but doesn't connect this time. Comes in, beta blades. Runs up for the throw. Is he gonna do the command throw? He does the command throw once again. Oh, where's the mix coming? He's going for the cross up. Gets hit by the uh, ace throw. Ace stroke again. He's plus on block. RC running up. Unfortunately, got beta blade instead of a. He just does the super. You just do that. That's that's how you sex women. Women sexer. You just full screen super once again. It's not even invincible. I respect it. Didn't even kill much time. I respect it. 2-0, Women's Sexer versus Kiwi. <laughs> Runs up. Rekka. Doesn't connect for the combo. Misses the misses the Gatling. Each stroke, he's plus on block. Each stroke again, he's plus on block. But he challenges it. First out. Air to airs, gut, but it's the burst. Goes for the super again, catches the jump! This man is a nut! He's crazy! A stroke, he's plus on block, he gets counter head out of it. Okay, combo time, chemical love. No mix up after. Gets hit. Oh no, he got the beta blade instead of the Rekka! And Eno takes the round. Hate to see it. Now start 2D once again. Gets the Rekka's Rekka, Rekka, Rekka! Jump up. He's gonna he's gonna cross up. Ne next time. Cross up. Aw, oh, gets jabbed out of it. Misses the meaty. Save the air. Jumping in. You can jab him after he does the that uh like full electric special move that Eno has. Baits out the burst. He could have RC to kill him! But he gets the follow up immediately and takes a round. Match point for Woman Sexer. More Rekkas. He's gonna go for the mix up. Baiting out something. Gets him out of the air with the chemical love. To air. Gets him. Rekkas. RC. That wasn't a combo. This is a, this is an American reset. Like a true weeb. Is this it? No, it doesn't get the follow-up combo, but hits him with the t uh, 2k to finish off the round. And Women's Sexer takes it 3-0 in the winner bracket. winner's bracket.
Congratulations, women sexer. Whoops. Oh, I I know how this I know how this works. Okay. Sexer goes on. And up next, it looks like we are going to our first set of losers bracket rounds. We have once again Kiwi gets back to back matches versus Caps. Refused to play against him when he had birthday- B Birthday Train's the best song in the game! How could you possibly hate the dad rock? Uh... Kiwi, you're up up next once again. Kiwi left the room. Kiwi doesn't realize. Alright, so it looks like Kiwi has forfeit. Uh. So it looks like Kiwi has forfeit the rat mash to Cap's doorman. Unfortunately, our first elimination is Kiwi from from uh, this qualification. Congratulations, Caps, on staying alive in the tournament. Um, it looks like up next we have Mister. Looks like up next we have Mister D. And how do I can't spell uh, Snailer? It's not. So we have Mr. D versus Snailer Slug up next. And we are going up once again. Dying Will on the Soul Bad Guy versus Snailer Slug on the Anji Mito. Didn't he? Didn't Snailer Slug lose to a uh, Soul Bad Guy, or was that the other, the other, uh, the other Anji? I forget. Either way, battle of the high tier and the low tier. Oh, connection lost. Uh, I think he, I think he DC'd. I'm not, I'm not gonna count that as a, uh, I'm not gonna count that as a forfeit. Yeah. So Snailer Slug got, got disconnected. I'm not gonna count that as a forfeit because the game didn't even start yet. That'd be ridiculous. So how's everyone doing today? Enjoying the tournament? The Jad's tournament arc? Who plays Maid? Pordexel plays Maid. And Pordexel's Maid looks really tight. Very, very impressed. Sap, you, you need to be rooting for uh, Piaja. Because Piaja does has Zato. Anyway, we are back once again. Tank number two, Dying Will versus Snailer Slug in this first to three match. Who will come out on top? Battle of the top tier and the low tier. Soul Bad Guy versus Anji Good Guy. And Snailer, Snailer Slug dc would again. Um...
Okay, I, I think we should try uh, another dual station, so come up here. It might be the dual station. Daisuke, Daisuke, please. If, uh, if he gets to see it again, I'll remake the room, but I think it might be the dual station. Guilty Gear Strive was funky ever since this morning. Guilty Gear Strive has been funky since the game has been released. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Hopefully the All right. Snailer Slug is back. This time for sure, Dying Will versus Snailer Slug. Take number three. Third time's a charm. Top tier versus low tier. And this bet first to three. <laughs> okay, I'll remake the room. <laughs> I'll remake the room. <laughs> I'll remake the room. I'll remake the room. Network. This this time for sure. Daisuke's vision. Alright, and we are back once again, this time for sure. If, if you forfeit caps, you're banned. You're banned from... Pub, why are you playing? I'm not playing. I'm commentating. Oh, you're you're absolutely right. Why am I playing? Sorry, I was I was testing the I was testing the dual station. Keeping it warm. Gotta warm gotta prime the pumps a little bit. Yeah, you can you can change character after you lose. Or at the start of or at the start of the set. Yeah, you just can't change character after you win a. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I think that the issue probably is on Snailer's like end then. So I think. I think we need to make an executive decision here. So that's that's unfortunately. Um... Yeah. Try- try switching player position, so... So... Uh, if- if, uh, if he- if you do see one more time, I think- I think we'll just have to DQ you. Honestly. I'll- I'll make the- I'll make the- I'll be the bad guy- I'll be the sole bad guy, and uh... And uh, DQ you from the tournament, because uh, and then everybody can say Snailer Slug was the true champion. Just horrible to tournament organizer, pub sub, ruining the sanctity of the tournament, rigging the brackets, etc., etc.
All right. This time for sure. Going in. Game number one. Snarly Slug versus Dying Will. Anji Mito versus Soul Bad Guy. Low tier versus high tier. Who will win in this first to three match? Probably no one because they will probably disconnect right now. Oh! There we go. We're going actually in the match. Oh, oh no. Fujin. Okay. We're actually fighting. Okay, back in neutral. And she jumping in, gets anti aired by Mr. T. Doing a random, random uppercut. Another volcanic viper. And it's like pressing buttons. Gets hit. Bur baits the burst. Gets a fight around over revolver. In the corner. So bad guy. Pressing button. Vortex to take the round. Fujin goes low. Fujin leaps and then raw dust probably was a throw. Revolver. Somehow the gun flame goes low against once again with the Fujin. Fujin. This man is a Fujin machine. Fujin goes low again. Fujin throws the six. That's a very plus on block. I think that's like plus five or something on block. Dual three. Let's rock. All yours. Is that the butterfly? Okay. Bandit revolver. That's punishable, but he only back. But the Angie only back dashes. Fujin goes with the overhead. That's comboable, but doesn't get the follow-up combo. Oh, Fujin! This man is a Fujin machine. Sen. Oh, he got him! Double jump! Double jump! No! He could have double jumped. Jump flame, gets hit. Go. Going up. Spinning. Will burst to get out of there. Run up, Tyrant Rave, but he's blocking. Gonna get the punish, RC's it. Makes it. Just a little bit of damage left. Volcanic Viper is punishable. Fujin goes low. Anybody's game. Anybody? Hits him with the 2S. And Dying Will will take game number one. I don't I don't even know what, what's going on in this match. I don't know how to commentate this. People are just pressing buttons. Oh, good block on the overhead. Even though he totally jumped that. Mechanic Viper gets him out of there. Very good delay on the counter hit for the confirm. Tries for the reset, but gets bursted out. Vortex full screen, Vortex, but no RC. Bandit Revolver, no RC. That's punishable, but he just presses Fire Slash again. Burst him to get it out of there. Fujin goes over the overhead. Runs up. Pressing bu buttons, but Volcanic Viper gets him out of the corner. Does another Volcanic Viper. I didn't know that was a combo, but it is. And see, Arizona with the success. Of me. Puts him out of the air with the jump dust. Power slash, power slash. Power sh oh, 6S. I thought it was the power slash. Puts him out with the 6P. Fujin. Fujin doing Fujin things. Fujin. Fujin. Fujin jumps. Goes for the grab. He's gonna wake up TP. Oh no, he wakes up throws instead. Hits him with a Fafnir RC, but misses the Vortex. Gets the uh, counter. Very good punish for the uh, pressing far slash. And it looks like... The connection. The connection's fine. Daisuke, Daisuke has willed it. That we shall continue. Fujin goes with the overhead. Combo bowl. Gets the co. Set by the first slash, bandit revolver. 
If I had a dollar for every every uh bit of connection that he had, I'd have one dollar. It's up hard slash, close slash, bandit revolver, baits the first. Silent rave? Oh, and he takes the round. And the game. Mr. D up to what zero. It's 2-0, two, two Mr. D, right? I'm not miscounting. He's fujining. He keeps, he keeps not... He keeps pressing buttons! I think he's trying to... TP. Andimito working towards the perfect. Jumping in, gets hit by the 6-B. Goes, goes strong. Counter hit, but it's a first. He grabs him with the wild throw. Jump back. No air there though. Hits him out of the overhead. Very smart. Six period, but he presses him. Angie taking the round. Finding for his life in this loser's bracket to stay in the tournament. Fujin goes low. Fujin jumps, but gets pressed. Gets pressed. Back, but no air to air. Grabs him out of the auto guard. Runs up DP. What a madman. This man is insane. Run up DP once again. This man. This man is tra channeling his inner Daigo. Off end of revolver. No punish. Gunflame gets hit by the jump in. Gunflame, but anti airism. Goes low. Fafnir runs up. Anti airism with the 5k. Dude, he's in the fusion vortex, so he gets hit by the butterfly. Confirm from the uh, far slash. Fujin goes for the overhead, but he bursts it out. Tyrant Wave catches him pressing buttons. He double RC. I I don't even know what just happened there, but it, it sure was something. I didn't know that you could do that. Anyway, Mr. D taking it 3-0. I What a boy. I'm sorry if I was quiet there. Like I don't know what I was seeing, but that was that was 3-0, right? All right. Congratulations, Mr. D, staying alive in in winner's bracket, and unfortunately, uh, Snailer Slug has been eliminated from the Jad's Fighting Game Tournament. Good job, uh, congratulations, Snailer Slug, and thank you for competing in the, uh, in the Jad's Fighting Game second biannual biathlon tournament. So now we are going on to our next loser's bracket match. We have Caps versus Jack Chan who will win who will come out on top in this battle royale slugfest and we are going into game number one of Caps Doorman versus Faust I have no idea how this matchup is supposed to go but both um, both characters seem to try to want to fight and fight in the same space and I would think that this is probably Axel favored. Um, I'm not sure what what Faust is supposed to do against the long range pressure of Axel, but we'll see if Jack Chan can Man make it. Knew that they cannot change can show me the way of what he's supposed so to do. Reflecting on themselves, they blame the beast. Will they blame the beast? Or will, will they reflect upon themselves? Let's find out. Sorry to intrude. Boop. There. Heaven or hell. 
and reception wait. Let's get this started. Axel, Axel. versus Faust. Do and we are going into game number one Let's of go. Axel versus Faust. Cap's Doorman versus Jack Jan. Axel grabs the trumpet, but he's just he's just jumping in, going in. Scarecrow coming in. Jack Chan has no fear, going in with the dive kicks, gets anti-aired, but gets hit by the bag bomb. The low low air slide. One thing I will I will say about Caps is his playstyle. He likes to do a lot of those uh, Axel follow-ups, even though they're very unsafe on block. Gets hit by the scarecrow. Blo <laughs> Gets hit by the bomb and the good conversion follow-up. Very patient by Jack Chan, just letting a Axel kill himself. So the overhead goes for the mix, mix, mix. He's in the corner, pressing buttons. Mix, mix, mix. One more, and he's out of the corner. He has the Faustling. Faust is Faustling is mad. He's jumping in, but burst gets him back. So air follow-up. Oh, the Scarecrow. YRC to get him out of there. YRC, as we all know, is a useless button. Goes up for the- gives him a hairdo. I think he's blocking? He's blocking. Oh, you have to jump that second one. So if you don't know, Axel Super, you block the first hit and then you have to jump to be able to punish it. It's plus on block if you block the second hit, so you have to jump between. Stabs him. Oh, good- good punish on the command grab. He goes for the two- 2k meaty. Good, good Renson. Meaty, Renson. Gets thrown out of his 2k meaty. That's very unfortunate, but from Jack Chan. Gets hit by the air. I hear follow up. Jack Chan doing the impossible and blocking that Renson follow up. Unfortunately, it's still not punishable. Jump! Oh, it's plus on block. Jack Chan is low, and Caps Doorman will be taking game number one in this matchup. Man, duel one. Let's rock. Stabbing him with the gets the air follow up. That's uh, really unfortunate. Goes for the overhead. Why? Uh, go burst to get out. He grabs him with the air throw. Runs up. Meaty gets the false sling. Overhead. You're in the corner versus the Faust Lang. What are you gonna do? Meaty stabs him. Oh, gra does the Scarecrow RC into the hairdo? What's he gonna do? It's the overhead. Oh, and he gets the corner break. Very smart. Good play by Jack Chan. He's staying alive in this loser's bracket. Why is that? Why is that woman in the background like freaking out? He's trying to get like her husband's attention. The overhead. Jack Chan goes for the meaty once again. Sweeps. Gets the hammer. Goes for the overhead. Stabs him. Gets him. Four. One break. RC. Very good. Big damage coming from Jack Chan. Taking. Striking back. Staying alive in this loser's bracket. 1-1 one, one, Cap Storman versus Jack Chan. Who will come out on top? This is a very close match. Snail. It's a bomb. Scarecrows to try to punish some follow up friends and can't anti air with the bomb there. Goes to the overhead but gets hit by the 2H. Hits him before the bomb hits. Jump in, mix, 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 but he bursts out of there. Our, um, Scarecrow to get in. <laughs> Misses the uh, meaty timing on the overhead. Gets hit by the overhead, bombed. Goes the anvil, gets hit by the anvil. Oh. Did he get out? Did he get out? He got out RC! No! He didn't get it in time. Unfortunately, missed the uh, the RC cancel. Probably would have saved him. They're crossing, but the command throw. Crossing is still pissed, so he can't get a real follow up from it. He got the hammer. Stabbed him. Hits him. Misses the anti air. He's jumping. What are you jumping in the corner for? Mix, mix, mix! Probably a missile input on that command grab. RC. Catches him on the ground. Faustling is there. Faustling is mad. Faustling is jumping in! Goes to the anti air, stabs him. Just any any hit will kill Axel. Hits him with the jump dust. 
Solid round from Jack Chan. Duel three. This is anyone's Rain game. He got the donut. Axel got the donut! The bomb is about to blow up! Watch out, Jack Chan! Overhead, stabs him. He's blocking the blocking the scalpel. Goes out the afro. Bomb. Axel already has an afro. Why'd you throw another afro? He threw an afro. He stabs him. He's dead. RC? Oh no, he did not see it! Sing alive, meaty, Eddie Button! Jack Chan panic! Jump! No, that's not punishable unless you jump! RC? And he stabs him. Jack Chan, taking round two, giving me a heart attack. Could have won that round like four times over. Trying to snatch vic uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. Got to go, man. Got hit by the hammer. Hammer coming down. Rents and follow up. Full screen. Whipping command throw. There's a bomb there. Watch out for the bomb. So Pet throws in, throwing out the bag bomb. Scarecrow follow up. Watch out for the command throw. Follow up command throw again. Axel Bumba. Perfect operation. And Cap's taking two, trying to stay alive in this loser's bracket. Snailing back. Rents and bomb follow up. Perfect command throw. Gets hit by the jump dust out of the air. Big damage. Two afros in a row. That's very unfortunate from Jack Chan. Gets hit by the, the meaty. Gets hit by the command throw. Where's the follow up? He's gonna go for the overhead. Runs up, gets the command throw. He does the afro. I don't think he pressed the button. Jump! Jack Chan didn't jump! He doesn't know the matchup! Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna have to yell at him for this later. Anyway, Cap's doorman staying alive, bringing the set to 2-2. Anybody's game at this point. Wait, it's 2-2, right? I'm not crazy. Man grab. Jumps out at the last second. Gets him out of the air. Gets meteors! Oh, didn't capitalize too much on the meteors. Only got one for the overhead. Anvil. Watch out for the anvil! Now he's on the ground. Goes for the overhead. Bomb. Goes for the, goes for the dive kick. Meaty! Oh no, didn't go for the meaty! Goes for the command grab! RC! And I don't think he's dead, but he's very low. Any hit will, any hit will take it. And by any hit, I mean any hit, but jump P. Oh, time stop, but, you know, that, that button, I respect the choice, but, you know, it's not the best button. First, jumping out. It's a follow, uh, did the follow up that's punishable. I don't know if it's punishable by a house. Goes for the 2D. Gets the bananas. Jack Chan ate the bananas. Watch out! Behind you, there's the banana peel! Careful! Tries with the command grab, even though he's like in the air. Gets the mix, mix, mix follow up. Goes for the overhead. Mix, mix, mix! RC! Probably didn't expect the wall burst. Ver that's why he RC'd. It's any combo from Jack Chan. We'll take, take the match. This is match point, I believe, for Jack Chan. 2D, any hit, we'll take it. Can Caps stay alive? And he gets hit by the bag bomb, and I believe that is it. Unfortunately, Caps has been eliminated from the tournament, and Jack Chan stays alive in this loser's bracket. Congratulations, Jack Chan. And unfortunately, Caps Doorman, one of our Axel players, has been eliminated in a very close game. That could have gone either way. Good job. Up next, we have Alsa versus uh, Piaja. We have the new Billia Main versus the old Millia Main. Who will come out on top? Will it be Karmic Justice losing to Millia after after complaining that Millia is a bottom character? Oh, by the way, Jack, 
you can punish. So anyway, we have Elsa versus Piaja. Uh, not heard from Piaja. Oh, there, there we go. They've arrived. Switch to the main screen. Damn, the tournament organizer is giving Jack Chan inside tips on how to beat me. Unlucky, yeah. Unlucky. I'm not, I've not- I've made no claims of not being biased, okay? I am very biased. The only people I want to see win are Woman Sexer and Jack Chan. Um, Piaget is here, but Piaget is not joining. There we go. Any second now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Piaja is a is a is a is a tier whore and only picks top tier characters like uh, Zato instead of uh, trash garbage tiers like uh, Milia, right? Yeah, you can switch if you lose. Anyway, going into game number one, Milia versus Zato. In lore, they were lovers. Mankind in game, they are also lovers. Society. So instead of Alsa reflecting on themselves, they loves Piaja, and Piaja loves Alsa. Who will come out on top? Hell. I am I'm actively rooting you. against Piaja because Piaja chose the uh, white Zato color. And White Zato, if you're you pick White Zato, you're you're you're, you're you're the worst Spot. person. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't condone Zato. this shit one. taste. Let's rock. Uh, that's that's running up. Oh, Bates the burst already. So smart. <laughs> Jumps in. You're in the melee of Vortex. Zato can't really do much against Lilia's Vortex. Jumps in. Bates the grab. Runs up. Goes for the overhead once again with the wall break. Very strong showing from Alsa so far. Good answer, air to air. Bates the throw once again. Piaja needs to stop. Jump needs to stop with the uh, wake up throws. Roll through the uh, the far slash. Delay vortex. Goes for the H disc over. Goes for the cross up. Two D. Jumps. And he's out of there. Goes for the ambiguous cross up. I don't even know which direction that block was. Hits him with the capital. Good air throw by Zato. And he is dead. You're in the corner. You have to block the six way mix up. Blocks a 2D. Very good box by Piaja. Blocks a frog. First, and just get him out. Charge jump raw dust. So smart. I would not have expected that. Gets hit by the frog. No, Eddie! They super killed Eddie. You will die for this. I take it back. I want Elsa to lose this round just for that, that horrible shadow treatment. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And Elsa takes game number one. Eddie's not blocking. Shake my head. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie is feeding. Oh, going for the uh, audible, Piaja going back to character select. Will Piaja go for the Milia mirror? Is it time? Is it time? Is Milia? Milia is top tier. Can't can't play your bottom tier Zato. You need to pick your top tier Milia. Anyway, Piaja switching to the Milia. So now we have the Milia mirror. Milia versus Milia. I don't know who's gonna win, but at the end of the day, someone's shower drain is gonna be clogged. 
Let's go into game number two. Mankind knew that Al says currently up 1-0. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beast. Looks like Piaget is in the uh, the drip red and black, and Alsa is in the purple. You can run. I won't mind. Think you can catch me? Melia versus. All right, let's see who's gonna come out on top. Two D coming out. H H pin. Yeja. The old Melia main. Running up, doing Melia things. Does the bad moon misses? He also responds with the bad moon and misses. Oh, he got those combos, but misses the misses the bad bad moon. RC gets the air to air, but doesn't convert fully off the combo. 2D, H disc goes low. Pija's out for blood. No, I'm the real million man. Let me show you what a low tier can do. That's punishable. Doesn't get the punish. Runs up empty, but misses the low. Uh, gold burst, but it's blocked. This is the conversion off of the, the close strong. Or close slash. H disc. Sweeps him. He's in the corner. He's just pressing buttons. Frame traps, frame traps for days. And he's out of there. Peace. See you later, alligator. H disc. There's a mix up. He goes for the cross up. Where's the next mix gonna go? Goes for the cross up again. Cross blow it once again. Gets the air to air, but doesn't get the full conversion. Uh, 2S gets him. RC jumps over it. Goes for the, goes for the overhead, but gets grabbed on the ground. This is, uh, Pia just doesn't go for the double overhead. It's anybody's game. Any hit will take it. Goes for the RC to, to bait out the anti air. H disc. Mix up. Oh, goes for the charge. Just so smart. Piaget take it, striking back. One one. You really weren't that bad, I guess. Man, also, also letting it rock. One. Believing in the Milia dream, in the Milia mirror. Going for the 2D. And the mix goes for the front. I wouldn't have gotten hit. I would have gone through the back. First to get out. This is the jump S. Again, the vortex, Milia vortex gets air to air. Can he convert this? Oh, almost. First out to get out. Yeja jumping in. Can't convert off the close strong. H disc goes behind. That's cheap. That's so cheap. Does he have this? No, he doesn't. Goes for the goes for the uh, hairpin, but RC's out. He's out of there. Back to neutral. And by neutral, I mean whoever jumps in first goes for the throw, misses it. Misses the uh, RC, or RRC, but only gets PRC. But Paija taking the round. Round two. Jumping out, gets the air to air. Close draft, splash, but gets interrupted. Uh, good burst bait. That's the thing about Milia, a lot of her combos are burst safe in the air. Goes for the empty jump. I thought for sure he was gonna go for the cross up at the last second. The hairpin. Go for the high. Oh, RC is the H pin. Gets hit. I thought he was gonna go for the throw, but goes for the media instead. Double dash. Catches him in the air. Low. Just pressing buttons. RC. And he just slashes him. Convincing. 2 1 from Paija. Pi Piaja, sorry. Mankind new. Piaja is getting those jump slash air to air so consistently. Oh, 6P going out. Very smart. Goes low. Catches him on the ground. H disc. He jumps out, but he gets caught in the air. Caught in the air. And he bursts out. Stay stay. H disc. Goes back because he expected him to jump up. There's a hairpin that's punishable, but doesn't get it. Jump S. Hairpin. Jumping in. Jumping in. I'm in the air. I don't know which way that cross up was. And neither does Pija. Hairpin. Runs up. This is a 2D. Where's the mix gonna come from? Goes empty jump low. 
<laughs> they're, they're doing the ballet of jump S, trying to ba catch it. Goes for the roll, but uh, Elsa does the 2D to interrupt. First to get out. It just runs straight into the super. Neutral jump straight to the uh, air. Going for the uh, going for the frame traps. H disc. They jump out. RC. And then goes for the 2K 2D. And we are on match point for Pija. Is the true Milia main gonna take it? Did Elsa just teach Pija all they needed to do was to believe and that their dreams could come true? H disc going in. Goes to low. Once again, punishes it with their own 2D. Where's the mix gonna come from? I'm oh, goes for the raw dust! Respected bump burst straight away. So smart, RC. Goes for the instant overhead. Doesn't convert it off. Doesn't convert it off of it. Goes for the raw dust once again. Is he gonna go? Empty jump low. I I would have expected the overhead. I would have gotten hit. Is it 2D? H disc. He jumps out of it. Goes for the hairpin, but gets hit by the super 2D. Where's the mixes? Is, is uh also gonna stay alive in this tournament? It's anybody's game. 2D. RC's a hairpin. That's punishable. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? And he goes with the overhead and he stays alive. It's still match point for for Pija. 2D. Is he gonna go? Goes for the front. Goes for the air, but misses the air to air. Goes for a high low. The 2D. Jumps up. Baits the bends the jump in, jump away. Goes for the 2D. Goes in. Rolls in. Goes for the goes for the frame trap. RCs, but a little bit too late. Goes for the air um overhead. Goes for the empty jump low once again into the wall break. One more mix. And PJ got it. What's he gonna do? Is this tournament point? Goes for the overhead and then goes for the overhead once again. And Elsa has been eliminated from the tournament and Piaget continues on. Continues on the the Milia dream. This is what happens when you believe in the Milia dream and you don't go for your uh your sexy shadow men. Very good showing by Piaget. Up next, we have Reese versus Mr. D. Yeah, it would have been really funny if he, uh, if Elsa switched to Potemkin. I was expecting that, but I respect the belief in the, the Milia dream. Sometimes, sometimes the anime story where you stick, where you stick to who you know and your your uh, stick to your beliefs, it doesn't it doesn't play out in the real world. This is an anime. Yeah, Milia won. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who really won, but Milia did win. Uh, Reese had to restart his game and he'll be back. Okay. So in, in that case, I will continue on and we will go with Dragon versus uh, Shiv Abra. Because I already forgot how Mop is pronounced in Russian. Shvabra. 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 Швабра, 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 швабра. Мап. Швабра. Let's just uh, let's just go with Dragon versus Швабра. Waiting for Super Sucker. Oh! Is that the character I think it is? We have not seen one of those in a Jazz tournament so far. Ooh. I'm building up the anticipation by not switching to the main screen right now. Anyway, we're going in to game number one of Great Vegetables versus Super Sucker, Dragon versus Shivabra, Leo versus Faust. Let's see what happens. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. 
So instead of reflecting on We're about to see it. We're about to see what a what a gorilla looks like. I feel like I'm gonna be disgusted. I I am a, a Leo man. So I'm sure I will be disgusted by this play. Hey. Let's see it. Leo versus Faust. Who will win? Goes for the that. Oh, I'm I'm already disgusted. I'm already disgusted by this. I'm already I'm. This is this is this is this is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. That's punishable. Oh no. Anyway. I said my disgust. Let's see what what kid it was on. He goes for the air throw. It's okay. <laughs> RC is and goes for the air throw once again. Tries for the air to air and goes to get the overhead. Goes for the dive kick. Oh, what's it? What's this? Watch out for the bomb! I don't know what's going on right now. Goes for the parry. The sweep, bomb coming out, goes for the command throw, and that should be the round. RC, but no! He RC'd and didn't block the bomb! Draw? Draw? I've never seen that before. Anyway, goes for the command throw in the back turn. Plays the follow up, goes back dash into overhead. Goes for immediate close slash. Grabs him. Galt doesn't get the full wall break. Runs up for the command grab. Leo's gonna wake up TP. I knew it. Oh no. Super? Oh no, he was dead if you super. Give him a chance. RC. Hits him. Give him a chance by not supering. So he goes for the overhead, stabs him. The Faust thing coming in. Oh no, he faced the burst! He doesn't get the thing! RC! Why RC? Goes for the command grab and Shimapper God gets it! Oh no, punish for not going for the super! Oh my god! Oh no! Played like a legend! Shimapper is showing just his, the level of play. He, 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 he's gonna level up to Kadabra at any point of time. After this match, he's gonna level up to Kadabra after this. I know it. Overhead, stab. That's punishable. Grabs him. Oh, goes with the hammer, but he goes with the command grabbing instead because it's safe. Goes with the, goes with the cross up. Goes with the overhead. In the corner, burst out. Punishable gets the punish. Actually, that wasn't punished. But he wakes up. He wakes up. Super but gets hit by the hammer. I thought he was dead. I looked away from the screen. Cross up goes through the overhead right away. Come on, you got this. Beat this horrible monkey man. Make it so that I'm right when I say this character is not top tier. Goes for the instant overhead. So smart. Mix, mix, mix. Catches the 2D. Backs off. Get anti airs with the close slash. Base game right now. Gets a gets a 2D. Stabs him. Is he gonna get the wall break? RCs, but bait, doesn't bait the burst. He RCs, but does he go for the grab? He goes for the command grab once again, but he gets hit by the hammer. That is so cheap. I would get hit by that every time. I think you have to backdash there. That's the only way. He gets hit by his own bomb. Great vegetables. Looked like he was AFK for a second. Where's he gonna go? Goes for the meaty. That's punishable. So mix, mix, mix. Overhead? Yeah, he's gonna go for the overhead. Goes for the, uh, gets the burst. What's up? Runs up. 2D. Afro. Runs up with the command grab. So smart. The combo misses it, tries for the jump dust, but gets the command grab and uh, air throw instead. Goes for the command grab, and then he takes the match. I 
I completely lost track of, of what the score of the game was. Only two things. Can someone tell me what the, the current score is? Dual one. Let's rock. Round start DP. Jumps in, gets low profile. That's the problem with Leo's jump jump age. He gets low profile by pretty much every button in the game. He's very weak on jump ins. The overhead. Overhead once again. It's 1 1, apparently. So the overhead butt gets uppercut in. That's punishable. It's punished meteors, but goes for the command grab so smart once again. Blocks a cross up, gets hit by the overhead. Jumps. Burst coming out. Oh, gets hit! Does he get the full thing? But no, he burst it. If you get the if you get the perfect frame. Back turn. Super. Take the round. If you get the perfect frame on the scalpel follow-up, you get a wall break and it does so much damage, but it's very hard to do. Very good anti-air is there coming in. He goes for the overhead once again. He just seems to go for the overhead every single time. Finally, Shibabra blocked it. But he went for the low this time. Is he super? Yeah, he's super. I don't think this is enough to kill. Oh, it is enough to kill! Dragon is up 2-1 against Shibabra. Only two things in this- Getting put in the Leo blunder. Let's rock. Five or six piece. When he tries to go for the overhead, jumps in. Gonna follow up. Gets hit by the low. The the Leo's block only grabs you if you're low. Unfortunately, Leo grab got the trumpet, so no follow up. Gets hit by the follow up, but he bursts out. He's gonna go for the cross up. Oh no, he goes for the parry instead. Gets him. Does he get the home run? RCs, big damage. Faustling, this is really scary for Leo. Gets hit by the Faustling game, gets hit by the overhead. Shafabra doing a really good job staying alive against his Leo. Wake up, round start DP. Really smart and really dumb at the same time. Goes for the super, goes for the two tick throw. Oh, he cancels and goes for the throw. The overhead and then goes straight for the super. I don't think this will kill. It does. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Match point for Leo. Three. Let's rock. Goes for the cross up once again. Gotta be throwing those. Gotta be throwing those. Overhead. Overhead. Overhead once more, but he blocks it this time. After the after the overhead, Leo is minus unless he cancels back turn stance. But it seems like Shiv is letting him get away with it. Oh! Punishes the YRC with the super. Petey. Foul sling, but he wakes up uppercuts. That's unfortunate. And Shivabra has been eliminated from the tournament. Dragon continues on in the loser's bracket. That's a very close. That was very close and very good round. Very good showing by Shivabra. I think that was 3 1? That was 3 1. Anyway, up next, we have Reese versus. Versus. Mr. D. Yeah, you did. You did pretty good. That was a that was a good blocking. It's just really hard. It's really hard to be. Uh, it's really hard once uh, Leo gets into his vortex. You kind of either need to like wire C or burst out of it, because he, he has so many options and there's not much you can do. Are, are we gonna? Are we gonna DC? Hello, Daisuke? Mr. D has disconnected this time. Uh-oh.
Uh, Reese, can you uh go to the other? Reese, Reese, go to the uh, player two side. Yeah, this this happened in the previous match um, that Mr. T was in. So what happens when this happens in the grand finals? Uh, we'll we'll keep resetting until it works. That's what's gonna happen. Daisuke has not blessed us this day. So far, it's only been it's been uh, Mr. D's games that has been been messing up. Not sure why. After this match, we'll take a brief uh, five-minute break. And then continue on with the next round in the winner's bracket. Anyway, we are going in. It's game number one. Dying Will versus Reese Polar. Soul Bad Guy versus Chip Good Guy. Uh-oh. <gasps> We're actually in. Daisuke has blessed us this day. Let's rock. Brown and gets hit by a 6P. Soul runs up and tries to the meaty, but can get it. Rekka. Bar slash. Bar slash. Phantom Revolver in the corner versus Soul. He bursts to try to get out, but he misses it. Made play. That was probably Rekka. Catch it back that. You can punish that with a uh, Vortex, but you can't punish it by running up. That was probably a miss input at Rekka, and then he gets hit by the sole bad guy to take the round. So pressing his hard slash, gets quick, gets crossed up. Oh, he tries for the Rekka, but gets a beta blade once again, the bane of Woman Sexer. Beta blade. I mean, that time it worked out. Actually, DPs. Is that? Can he punish it this time? No, he can't. It always goes to the other side, the opposite side of where the chip was. And if you have a dashing move, you can go run up and punish it. Anyway, what Mr. D four. taking game number one. Man. Duel one. Let's rock. Up He tried for the command throw, but got beta bullet. It got volcanic vipered. Oh no, he got got DP once again. Oh, oh so unfortunate. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't go for the dust follow up. He didn't expect that to hit. No one expected that to hit. We take the round. Got the cross up. I've never seen that Alpha Blade follow up before. Bandit Revolver in the corner. He's going to be pressing Far Slash first to get out of there. Goes for the overhead, but gets hit by the Vortex. If he RC'd, he would have killed him. But it doesn't matter because Mr. D has taken game number two. Stop wasting my time. English Chip is the better option. It shows that he's the essence of the weed. Viper, close slash, frame traps, hits him with the 6P on the run up. Okay, he re re up the command throw. Oh no, the lag switch has been hit! The command throw. Beta blade, goes to the command throw, but he, he jumped back. Doesn't matter if you jump because, you know, this is, this is Chip. He can do whatever he wants. First to get out of there. Goes for the super and he catches him. He takes a round. Reese fighting to stay alive in this lower bracket. Surprise! Super. Revolver. 
Wake some buns. He expected the DP, respected it. Didn't expect the chip to just wake up press buns though. Play. Oh no, the missing put beta blade once again uses super. Hey, if if you can't punish it, just keep doing it. Oh no, the bounce. Why does that get a bat wolf bounce? Dice game? Push the overhead. Oh, and then Tyrant Rave. He's dead. He's like dead five times over there. Text full screen gets combos. Combos. Oh, um, doesn't get the full combo, but still respect the damage. So, like, he does have Chip's health off of a random vortex. Shadow Clone! Right, slashes. Coming out. Does the super catch the back dash? I think he's got hit. Yeah, he he's he's very dead there. He's very dead. Anyway, Mr. D, congratulations, Mr. D, on staying alive in the losers bracket. We and um, for, and Reese has been eliminated from the tournament. Uh, congratulations to all of the competitors so far. Um, and I believe. I will be taking a short five minute. Uh, we will be taking a brief five minute break. Let me fix this. Um, hold on. Hold on one second. I think I, I think I know how to do this. All right, and we we will be back in a moment. Stay tuned.
and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second annual Guilty Gear Strive, Jad's fighting game biannual bi-weekly tournament. Uh, up next, we have uh, Pordexel versus Mr. Phantasmo. Uh, you can start... And we are going into game number one of the winner's bracket. Mr. Phantasmo versus poor Dexel. Who will come out on top? Or who will lose? Mankind knew that they Duel one. I really like this matchup for Mei. She seems to do really well against Soul. Yeah. Pressing Fog Slash, going in for the tick throw. Meaties, meaties. Bandit Revolver. This is gonna do a lot of damage, but Portex will burst out. So this slide. Ooh, it gets anti aired of Pro at the 6p. Now, so now in the corner versus Soul, jabs him out of that after the whip throw. Hits him. Bandit Revolver, RC, and he is dead. There was like 50% life left in that combo. Slide, wake up. But Volcanic, wake up Volcanic Viper, hate to see it. Tick throw once again, running up. Car slash, car slash. Bandit Revolver just did it raw. Got you now! In the corner! Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Probably could have OTG'd there. But he runs up for the throw instead. With a convincing game number one. The Fanta on the soul bad guy. Pathetic. Running at the May. Beating up the poor little girl. Duel one. Let's rock. Jumping in gets six P once again. Bandit Revolver, now in the corner. Runs up, throws. Runs up, throws again. RC, baits the burst. Oh no, he's so dead. It's the sliver of life left on Pordexel, on the May. Pressing buttons. Getting close to the person, but gets a jump in on the, uh, on the bend, on the gun flame. Tries to far slash the dolphin, but gets hit instead. Runs up and throws. He tries to run up and throw, but he got fan- Oh, uh, Tyrant Rave. No, uh, unfortunately, no, uh, no FD to stop the chip damage. He could have also just used super instead. Let's oh, see. Wall break. That is a lot of damage. Okay. And there's the dolphin. Runs up. I don't know why that that uh, connected, but it did. Good air. Got the counter attack. RC. Oh, jabs him out of it. I thought for sure he was gonna go for the throw. I would have gone for the throw. But air to air takes it in a convincing game number two from Fanta. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like we're probably gonna be spectating the next game from the lobby. Um. Connection lost, unfortunate. Yep, we're gonna be watching it from the lobby, and it looks like Daisuke has not blessed us today. May is at a, a slight advantage right now. May got a hit. Soul is very low on HP. So it's getting lower. He has only a slipper left. One hit will take it for the round. Like he's even stand still. He got jabbed or something. Fear of Owls covering up the, the life bars. May got hit. Both on a sliver. Who's gonna take it? And it looks like Fanta took game num uh, round number one. Starting off game number two. Fanta took the first hit. Oh, he got a big comboed. He's probably in the corner fighting for his life. Trying to stay alive in this winner's bracket. Can he do it? Looks like they're back in neutral. They got hit a little bit. 
I think that was a trade. They both went down a little bit. Oh, big damage coming from the soul. Soul got hit again. Anybody's game right now. Soul got jabbed. Or May got jabbed a little bit. May got hit. May's on a sliver. Match point. May fighting back. Soul took a little bit of damage. May got hit. She's on a sliver. Any hit will take it. And it looks like Mr. Phantasmo has won it in this first to three. Congratulations. 3-0. Convincing. I'm convinced. Pudexel has been sent to the loser's bracket, and Mr. Phantasmo continues on through winner's bracket. Up next, we have Beanie V versus... Bloopy. Bloopy versus the champ. Will Beanie Bee be able to block the wake up supers? Alright, we're going into game number one of Beanie Bee versus Bloopy. Beanie Bee sticking with the Nago Ryuki versus the Ramblethal. I feel like this is a Ramblethal favored match. Probably. Ramblethal is in the corner. She throws her sword away. Oh no, your sword! Gets sliced. Gets sliced again. Runs up. Fukio's in. But gets challenged with the jabs. Ooh, the cross up and the cross back. Goes to swords. Sword, sword. Jumps in but gets jabbed out. You don't have any swords, Ramlethal. Watch out! Jumps in. But gets thrown on, on as a punish. Nagos uh, has a lot of blood, but. Looks like he'll take round number one. Round start spin. Tokyo's in, but some air, you know, like Canadian gold burst. Hate to see it. Okay. Now goes going in. Goes for the bite, taking game number one against Ramblethal. Beanie Bee showing people why he's the champ. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh no. Oh no. Got grabbed. Oh no. He has so much blood to work with now. He's gonna he's gonna spin. He's gonna spin. Oh he didn't spin. Yo in. Perfect. Convincing match. Spinning in. Again, pressing buttons, spins again. Fook goes back, goes for the command grab, but whips it a little bit too early. Fook, uh, Nago has a lot of blood right now. Just going for the step, RCs, and then big damage coming in. Double perfect. Taking a convincing game number two. Dual one. Nago showing that he's a bottom tier character, just like Milia. Okay, Blue be going for the tick throws. Hits him with the 2D. Hits him with the overhead once again. But he bursts out. Gets hit! This should be a corner break, but no, it didn't get the conversion. So we keep going low. Nago jazzes him out. Hits him and then converts off with a super. Blue be showing. No, I'm the real top two character. Uh, jumps the Beyblade. It's a burst. Beyblade once again. Nago using a lot of his blood. It's about halfway through his blood meter. Jumping up. Fukio in. Fukio back. Fukio. 
I thought he was gonna go for the command throw for sure. And then he went for the spin. Game match point for BDB. 6B at round start. Ukyo uh, first you in. Ukyo, what's he gonna do? Where's the fix? 6P. BDB in the corner. He's fighting for his life. RC goes for the command throw, but a little bit too early. He has a lot of blood. He's gonna burst, but he gets hit. And Beanie B takes it in a convincing 3-0. Congratulations, Beanie B. And Bloopy has been sent to the loser's bracket. Up next, we have a Fury of Owls versus a Muser name. So, a music name is already here, ripping and roaring to go, off to show everybody his his sick Axel Bummer loops. Axel Bummer! That's how he goes, right? That's what he says, right? I can do a flawless British accent, by the way. You, you just, you just, you're just not ready for it. Uh, sure. A fear of owls has requested a brief 30 minute intermission, so we will let them let them give them 30 30 by 30 minute i mean 30 second 30 second intermission so we will we shall wait in the meantime uh how's it how's it going how's it going chat yeah 30 seconds in actual time is 30 minutes that's that's absolutely correct he is a time wizard after all As more people enter the tournament, maybe next time we'll split into duties. No, if more people enter the tournament, we'll, we're gonna have pools, and then it will be top 16. Or maybe, maybe split into two days. We, I don't know. Anyway, we are going in. Whoops. We are going into game number one of a user name versus a fury of owls. Axel versus Giovanna. Mankind. Duel one. Let's see if the music can do. Oh, dash up, so smart. Plus, I'm blocked after that Renson follow up. He's very minus if you jump that. Renson, air follow up. Giovanna trying to press buttons, but if he RCs to mid stay safe. Back. Goes for the command throw. So smart. Music name showing why he's celestial. Follow up. Ooh, good follow up by Axel. Convincing round one. Going into round two. Let's rock. Going for the air throw. <laughs> Big call out on that. Meaty. Meaty. But he goes for the tick throw this time. Goes for the just raw throw this time. Meaty. But the Canadian burst. Trying to stay alive, but he's out. But the, bar the dash and bar slash gets him back in. Now, now. Dual three. Let's rock. Our slash catches him in the air. In the corner versus Giovanna, he's gonna press your buttons. It's not the end of your turn yet. It's not your turn. Still not your turn. Okay, now it's your turn. It's a, he hit him with the unblockable. Yeah. He jumps back once again. Well, they both jumped into each other, but neither pressed buttons. That was a very awkward moment. He jumps the grab. No follow-up on the actual very patient play by a user name. I would have thought for sure uh, Giovanna would have pressed buttons there. Follow-up, air follow-up. Hits him out of the air, but no, no follow-up. RC, but he counter RCs. And he takes game number one. A user name is currently up 1 0 versus a Fury of Owls. Duel 1. Yeah, a user name is rocking the uh, the Trucker Ken outfit. No, he's in the corner. A uh, user name is in the corner versus Giovanna. Trying to fight it for his life. Gets hit on the air. This is a big damage combo, but he. 
Spear of Owls drops it, but he get, catches it back, and RC gets the wall break and the ground. Giovanna, you're in the corner versus Giovanna. He's pressing buttons. Let the overhead, Princeton. Goes with the command throw, throw. Doesn't catch him in the air, but he catches him on the way back. Triple dash and then dash off R slash. Oh no. You have meter, Axel. And Fury of Owl strikes back, taking game number two. He's currently 1-1. Axel had meter there. He could have blocked the the uh He could have blocked the close slash and then uh wire C here. Follow up. Man throw. Catches him. Music name needs to be more careful with the, the command throw. He might be he might get caught one of these times by doing it, brawl like that. Or slash. Jumps the jumps the spiral. C. Back in. Rinse in the air follow up. Geo doesn't seem to be approaching by the air, so the, the air follow up seems to be kind of a holy choice at the moment. RC, even though you're a high, uh, you're plus on block, gets the air throw. Six P's the spiral. Very smart. RC, but he goes for the air throw once again after BRC. Dual 2. Let's rock. Man throw. Out of the air, and then goes for the command throw. There you go, follow up. Username still going for the air follow up, but the, the only time he doesn't go for the air follow up is when he actually goes into the air. Geo seems to know the smash pretty well and knows exactly when he can go approach. And some username fighting back. Is it 1-1 one, one or 2-1? Oh, oh, I, I forget. The command throw. He, he runs up the 2 him. Please don't move. The tick, tick throw. Ooh, the, the frame trap. Catching and pressing buttons. Yucha jumps the spiral. Goes for the command throw. Oh no, and he gets hit by the super. Even if he blocked that, it was pl it's plus on block. So cheap. And it's 2 1, Fury of Owl's amuser name. Dual 1. Let's rock. Axel giving up some position to try to go for the overhead, but he whiffs it. But he gets the position back, tries to go for the, uh, the man grab once more. Looks like Giovanna's looking for it now. Giovanna's going for the meaty, but then goes up for the dash of throw, but Axel this is looking for it this time. It's a far slash in the corner. He tried for the tick throw that time, but gets hit by the 5k by Axel. Command throw, but he gets he double jumps to get out of there. Very smart by a username trying to stay alive. Dual two. Let's rock. Oh, goes for the com meaty command throw. That's so cheap. People very rarely bought. Can react to that in time. RC's but presses buttons instead of trying to backdash and get out of there. In the corner versus Giovanna. Username staying alive gets the command throw. One more hit will do it. Trying to stay alive, jump S back. It will take game number two. It is currently 2 2. Whoever wins this next game will take it and stay in winner's bracket. The other is sent to losers. Let's rock. Up, but gets hit, gets hit by the fire slash. Mandro. But he jumps up and fire slashes it. With a good rate with punish on the fire slash. YRC. He's gonna. Oh, he wants to. He wants to RC this. 
This is gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, no RC! Probably could have killed him. He definitely could have killed him there. He definitely could have killed him there, too. Oh, go, but goes with the RC, uh, the RC to get the, uh, air throw instead. Axel hit him with the unblockable. This is set. This is match point for uh, Fury of Owls. If he takes this round, he wins. Gets caught in the air. Big damage from Axel here. Goes for the overhead, but he's close and he gets the RCs, but it's not fast enough to stop the bar slash. And Axel staying alive. This is match point for either person. Whoever takes this round, Axel does not have burst, so he needs to be very careful about getting hit right now. Oh, oh, oh what's going on right now? Everybody's panicking. Hit the panic mode. Follow up. That's punishable, but Geo didn't get the punish. She put yellow burst, uh, gold bursted. She has so much meter. RC. And she runs up and throws. Goes for the meaty. But the uh, FD with Axel's FD pushes her away. Very good defense by Axel here. Catches him and then deals with the command throw. Can amusement mid name do it? Geo is looking to get in. Why YRC's in, but he YRC's back, he runs up to for the close slash, but he jumps out in time. He goes for the meaty, but he misses it. He jumps for the spiral, catches it, but the burst is back! He gets the uh, overhead, he gets the uh, he gets the command throw! One hit! One hit will do it, and he jumped back, he jumps slash! And a music name has done it! He has stayed alive in the winner's bracket. That was a, such a close match. Great job for both competitors. Congratulations, Amuser Nam, for staying alive in the winner's bracket. Very close, uh, 3 2. Up next. Oh man, up next. We have a very bad matchup. This is probably the worst matchup we've ever seen. We have Moro versus Woman Sexer. Unfortunately, Potemkin. Is a man, so this is this is this is one of the worst matchups in the. Uh, this is one of the worst matchups for women sex here, because because no one is more manly than Potemkin. Yeah, I'm using him. That was a fantastic game. Those command throws were, I would have gotten hit by half of those. Some of, some of that deep like defending against Joe in the corner is just insane. You did way better than I would have done. Anyway, here we have it. We are going into game number one of Chips Enough Woman Sexer versus Potemkin Moro. Who will win? Let's find out. Man, duel one. We have the drip chip and the and the gray pot. Punishing that, punishing that slide head. 6p to get him out of the air, gets hit by the Gruta impact, goes low, Mega Fist, but he's out of there. Chip's too fast. Beta Blade, oh that could have been so much damage, but he didn't convert. Why does that do so much damage to Chip? RC, but he doesn't get hit by the uh, 2k, the jump 2k I think. Good punish. Goes for the uh, Rekkas, Rekkas, more Rekkas. Oh, he went for the cool combo, but he bursts out of it. Catches him in the jump back. Blocks it. That's punishable, but he doesn't get the full punish. Off the blade. Where's he gonna go? Oh no, he got hit by the Aegis Reflector. Aegis Reflector. That's, that's what Arian says when he does Aegis Reflector. So we have a... Uh, Gets, gets hit by the 2p, uh, 6p to get him out of the air. Pick this back, plus on block, very safe defensive option, very good against Chip as well. Chip ran up, ran up the grab, off the blade, get, catch him out of the air. Both players just jumping around like maniacs. Slide head, catches him on the ground, where's the mix? Goes for the pop buster, that is not plus on block, he could have jabbed out of it if he wanted to. But he's just so scared. Moro up 1 0 versus Woman Sexer. Goes for the overhead, but he gets a punish. Jabs him out of it. 
Slide head. Hammer fall. Doesn't go for the pop buster this time. Six speed tried to catch the air, uh, jump in, but wasn't in time. Gets the Garuda impact. Tried to catch the back dash with the 2D, but he just blocked it. You're plus on block, you could press buttons! No chip! No chip! You could just bash if he does that! Oh no! Half a blade, gets the cross up. He's gonna go for the second cross up that I'd say every chip get before. Catches him in the air twice. Oh, Beta Blade tried, probably tried for a Rekka. First to get him out of the corner. Gamma Blade up into the air. Alpha Blade. Alpha Blade once again. Catches him. Whips the, uh, whips the Pop Buster. Moro with the crazy plays. Goes for the Pop Buster again and then goes for RC Pop Buster. What an absolute freak. I, res I hate it, but I respect the hell out of it. Goes for the overhead. Watch for the burst. He saved the burst, so smart. RC, just pressing buttons and he gets the brown. Moro saving the burst for a rainy day. Mega Fest into Hot Buster. Oh my god, what happened to his health? What happened to Chip's health? It was there a second ago. Oh no. Oh no. Women's sex are not like this. 2 0, more women sex there. Moro just wants to go for Pop Busters. He has never once not gone for Pop Buster in his life. Goes for the overhead, this is big damage, but more burst. That's minus on block. Oh no, the, the blocked air into the pop buster. Oh, it's it's gross every time I see it. I don't think Pot can punish that. Probably with Hammerfall. Back dash the slide, the slide head. Didn't go for the overhead this time. RC? Oh, no, he didn't have meter. Sorry. One more. Oh, he went for the command throw, but he was a little too early. It would have worked too. Match point for Moro. Alpha, Alpha Blade? Oh no, he went for the Pop Buster! Oh no! Chip's health! Your health is gone! I don't know how how that what just happened there. Oh he went for the throw, but he was a little too late. Mega Fist. It's punishable if he blocked it. Jabbed him out. Aegis Reflector. Air block. Good, good choice. But he wolves for the Pop Buster. I knew that was happening. Oh no. Moro. Sending Woman Section to the loser's bracket in a convincing 3 0. In a convincing 3 0. Up next, up next, we have Bloopy versus Jack Jam. Jack Chan is on his way. Hey, uh, whoever this is in the in the lobby, uh, don't don't spectate because it might bug out the lobby if you if you if you're spectating as well. Thanks. 
I don't want to. I don't want to risk it being like. I don't want to risk Daisuke screwing us over. All right, Jack Chan is here, and we are going into game number one of Bloopy versus Jack Chan. We have Bloopy as the Ram Lethal versus Jack Chan on playing the Jack Chan. Let's see who'll take it. Why why is this loading screen taking forever? I've never heard this portion of the song before. Uh, Daisuke? Okay. Thank you, Daisuke. Oh no. Oh, oh. Mankind oh okay, we got it. Not change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. At reception, wait. If you're done talking, let's begin. Ramlethal versus Faust. Faust. All right, we're going into game number one. Let's rock. I have no idea who wins this matchup. Good anti-air with the 2H from Ram. Oh no. If I had a dollar for every frame per second I was seeing, I would have one dollar. Catching him with the back bomb. He got the bomb, and he goes for the command grub. Le le learn from Shivabra. In the corner, in the corner versus Ram. He goes for the dust, but doesn't fully charge it. Tries to, uh, tries to convert, but you know, misses the confirm. Arc sees Scarecrow into the air throw. Gives Ram some bananas, but she doesn't want your bananas. I don't like Stein's Gate. Anyway, Ram goes up for the throw and takes a round. Just a bit more. Jump in. Let it go to the dive kick. Go for the jump dust instead. First out of there after getting hit by the jump ahead of me. Goes for the overhead, but gets caught swinging from the ramp. Uh, Bloopy didn't time the swords right, so he didn't get the wall break combo. Back bomb runs up throw. He's no longer in the corner versus the ramp ball. Gets the foul sling. Foul sling pieces out. Fousling doesn't want any of this. Loopy gets the uh oh! Fousling is back with a vengeance, goes through the overhead, gets another Fousling! Oh, Fousling didn't activate YRC. Interrupts him with the super YRC. RC is uh nothing. Goes for the overhead, but gets caught with the 2D. Or 2K. And Bloopy is up 1 0 versus society. Jack Chan. Duel 1. Let's rock. Come on out. Ram is swinging her sword. Gets the overhead. This is a big damage. Four. Oh! Space the burst. That's not a real burst. RC. Big damage. Does he have these? No, he doesn't. Dive kick. Tries the anti-air, but misses the anti-air. Bloopy gets a throw. Runs up. That's punishable. Doesn't get the punish in time. Bomb coming in. Probably out of range. To blow up. He gets caught by the sword. Bloopy can get the follow up. And he wakes up supers. Gets a hammer. Swings the sword. Chucks the bomb over the ram, and ram just tried to run forward and got clipped. Duel 2. Let's rock. Dive kick. Goes out Afro. Gets some meteors. Oh, that's so cheap. Catches him in the air, but doesn't convert off of it. Catches him with the back bomb. Stabs him with the sword. Scarecrow go gets her an Afro, and that is game number two. Going to Jack Chan. 1-1 one, one, Bloopy Jack Chan.
mankind knew that they Duel one. Let's we are going into game number three. Turn off the 2k. Jack doing the air to airs. Ooh, the air to airs are so good against Ram. Trying for the 2D. Catches her in the air. Krausling didn't get activated. Jumps the uh jumps the throw. Very smart. Doesn't get blown up by the sword, which is really nice. Good answer here by Jack Chan. Throwing out the bomb. She's gonna get hit! Oh, a little bit just out of range. Does Bluey have these? No, he doesn't have these. RC. Catches the back dash. Convincing round from Jack Chan. With the double scare for RC. Dual two. Let's rock. Yeah. Jim will be jumped up. 2D. Goes hammer. Those those uh trumpet. Kids are in school. Throwing it. Back bomb misses, but he runs up Loopy runs up and throws. Catches him. A little bit too far to combo with that. You're in the corner versus Ramathal. Time for time to guess. Throwing some swords. Throw another sword. Runs up, catches him with the 2D, or 2K. Gotta block that, that's punishable. Let's get the full punish. Ram was definitely trying to go for the, uh, the super there. Crossling is out. Crossling is coming. Oh, and he catches him with the super. That does so much damage. All you needed to do was block until Crossling was there, Jack. He has a lot of meter. Is he gonna give us the uh, what is this, 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 this? Jack Chan. Fastling is there to save him. No, he gives him the perfect timing of the combo. He gives, he gives Bloopy the perfect time. Wakes up super, but Bloopy. Bloopy saw it coming. Watch out. Bloopy's gonna super. Okay, good thing that was a punish because Blo Bloopy was definitely buffering super there. Oh, see? Doesn't catch the air, the jump in. Hammer. Trying to get the super. And he does it again! What a maniac! This dude. Bloopy. Bloopy. Bloopy, you're either a genius or a crazy person. Mankind knew and in this instance, you're a genius. No one ever expects the double super in a row. Anyway, Bloopy is up 2 1 against Jack Chan. Just the bomb moves him. Mousling is coming! Graham has an afro. Just an overhead. Stab. Afro blows up. Has another Mousling. Mousling is here! Mousling's coming! Mousling's saving Jack's life. YRC. He's gonna super. Oh, that was... You see that was H? That was, that was definitely super. Oh no, that was S sword. Right. The meteors come out. Jack Chan presses some buttons. Next takes a round. Dual two. Let's rock. The thing about nuts is that you can't predict them. They're too crazy. Just with overhead. This is big damage. Is he gonna get the just frame? Oh, he got the just frame. Very nice. Interrupts him. Gave her some bananas. Oh, the banana saved him! What a genius! Catches him with the 2D. Watch out for the sword throw! Traps him? Yes! Okay, where's the mix up? He's gonna super. He didn't super. Because Jack wasn't even close to him. Still would have connected though, because it's Ram super. Anyway, we're at a close game. 2 2. Bloopy versus Jack Chan. Who will take it? Whoever loses this gets eliminated from the JAD second annual biannual bi weekly JAD fighting game strive tournament. Get some. Runs up the throws. Corner versus Ram. He wire sees out of there. He has a lot of bar to deal with to use. Anti airs. Get the conversion. Is it traded? Runs up command throw. Okay, where's the mix gonna go? Is he gonna instant overhead? No, goes for the regular overhead. Goes for the overhead again. Mix, mix, mix. That would have been big damage. So Bert, Bloopy bursts it out. Bloopy running up for the throw. Gets hit by the dust. Big combo. RC. No, no big conversion. But he throws a hammer and does the overhead. Dual two. Let's rock. Turn. Uh, match point for Jack Chan. 
The back bomb runs up, goes through the 2k. Krausling coming out. Krausling is mad. 2d instead of uh, jump S. Does Bloopy have these combos? No, he drops it once again. The only time he, he hit the combo was when uh, Faustling helped him out. He's gonna get the trumpet. He's gonna get the trumpet! Jack out the trumpet. He ran, runs up, gets the uh, RCs. Does he have the full combo? No, he doesn't have the full combo. And he hit, will take it for Jack Chan, and Jack Chan takes it! 3 2 against Bloopy. Bloopy has been eliminated from the Jazz Fighting Game Strive Guilty Gear 2nd Annual Biannual Fighting Game Tournament. Congratulations, Jack Chan. Up next, we have Bordexel versus. Uh. I, I'm completely blanking on the name again. Pia Ya. Right? Ya? Ja? Pia Ya? Pia Ya? Is that it? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway. Continuing on with the second biannual, the second annual bi weekly tournament. <laughs> Pia Ya. Yeah. Anyway, we have Milia versus May. I personally think that this is Milia favored matchup. But we'll see. Man. Pija is now a May believer after trying Zato and realizing that Milia is actually a top tier character. Runs up, does the unsafe follow up. First to get out of the corner. He's trying to catch, uh, trying to catch a jump at S's, which is from Mil May. In the air, down the bottom, jumps out of the H disc. Ah, uh, misses the throw. Unfortunately, gets the cross up, drops the combo. So there's a bit of lag. RCs to make it safe, but gets caught anyway by the dolphin. This is big damage. Oh, that wall breaks! Why did that break the wall? I'm very confused. Catch him in the air. That's a catcher. Sweep. Push and mix. Goes to the overhead. Catches there. Overhead. It's stiff. But the wire, uh, the gold burst. RC after the, the Orca Whale, but they great tech coming from um, Pia Ya. Aya Ya. Pia Ya. Okay, where's the mix gonna go? Goes for the empty jump low. Okay, next mix. Where's it gonna come? Goes for the overhead. Just a simple overhead gets him last time. Goes for the media after the jump in. Catches him in the air. This is big damage if he doesn't drop it. Oh my god, he was so far up in the air. The RC and he's out of there. He's trying to catch him in the air as hard as possible. Blocks the, mate, uh, blocks the Orca. And... Amelia takes it. Game one. Duel one. Let's rock. 2D, jumping up. Tries to catch trying to catch the anti-air with the jump slash. Milia catches it. This is big damage. Doesn't go for the big damage, instead it goes for the hard knockdown. Follow up. Love Shaker. H disc, RC, but the gold burst gets him out of there, and with a big bar meter. Far slash chat catches him, 2D, jumps. Oh, he blocked it! What a genius! I would've gotten hit. He gets hit by the follow up of it? Oh, that that is unfortunate. Catches him high. H disc. Catches him jumping it back, gets the hit. RC. Think he's dead? 
Good job. Good follow up by by Milia. By the dolphin. Burst out of there. Catches him like, once again in the air. Coming up. Catches him low. Has the H disc. And big damage. Big damage. One more mix. And it will be the round, I think. Okay, which one which way is it going? He's going just straight up in the front. Amelia takes game number two in a convincing fashion. With the bottom tier character Sweet bullying freak. these like top tier characters. What why is Millie so bad? Um, unbelievable how bad Millie is. Yeah. Runs up, baits a burst, and grabs him. Get goes for the midi. This should be a wall break, but doesn't get the full conversion. Catches him in the air. Misses the follow-up vertical uh horizontal dolphin. But comes strikes back and saying, No, you're not gonna 3 0 me. I'm gonna pee on you. Perfect. This is the meaty. This is a get punished for it. Goes for the cross up. Of course, she's gonna go for the cross up when she's in the corner. Hits her. And gets the dolphin. Ooh, good trade and good, great follow up. Catches her in the air. You're in the corner versus me. Time to block some dolphins. Does the H dolphin. And you're very plus on that. Catches her pressing buttons after the H dolphin. And strikes back 2 1. Millie versus May. Going into the game four. Turn around with Far Slash and then, then uh, slicing her. H disc. I don't know which way, direction she, you were supposed to block that. Catches her in the air. This is big damage. But Millie, uh, May, uh, May bursts. H disc. Catches her once again, trying to jump out. Stop trying to jump out. Tries to super, but misses the super. Catches her once again. RCs. One more hit will take it for Milia. And perfect coming from Milia. Pika showing what a Pikachu can do. It's often. Catches her in the air. Sweep. Going for, the, going for the S disc mix. Catches her in the air once again. Where's the mix gonna go from this time? He's going for the S dolphin, but he's out of there. But he runs into it anyway. A very plus on block. Catches her in the air, but she bursts out. Super, but that is very punishable because he just jumped. Gonna do. He misses his meaty and he gets thrown. H disc. It's a throw. He's gonna do it again, but May just mashes out. Very smart. Match point. First, right after getting hit by the dolphin. Grabs him uh, when he misses time to meaty. Goes for the cross up. That was a dirty cross up. I couldn't even couldn't even see your character on the screen. Goes low, but gets hit by the Orca Whale. He's making a go. Goes for the 6 H into the Dolphin. Bring it to 2 2. Whoever wins this game wins the set. And, gets, and whoever loses gets eliminated from the Jazz Fighting Game Tournament. Bates the burst. Amazing burst bait. Goes from the front. I thought that was gonna go to the back for sure. Goes for the double cross up, but trades. Low RCs to make it safe. Catches her in the air, but no follow up. Orca whale, but he blocked it. That's a pun. That's punishable right there. Goes from the front and catches her. Where's the mix gonna come from now? Jump up, jump up, trying to catch the jump aways. Double dash, but get, catches the 2 H, but misses the horizontal dolphin. RC coming in, catches the 2 uh, two H, goes for the cross up, misses the hit, but still gets hit by the disc anyway. Match point for Pikachu. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so he gets caught by the each this. Dolphin. Oh no, the Canadian burst! Oh no, disaster struck. May has burst going into this next round, and Pikachu probably won't. Well, Posex will take it. This is match point for either person. Catches her with the jump, jump P. Did we jump dust, but no conversion off of it. Very plus after that. GD. Jump H, but challenged in the air. Catches him with a midi. This is a big punish, but he can't catch it in time. He doesn't, he doesn't go to the other side. RC, and he, I think this is it. He takes it. Poor Dexel. Continues on with the loser's bracket. Everyone together. Yeah, a million trashed here. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. Anyway. Congratulations, Poor Dexel, for staying alive in the Jad's fighting game second annual biannual tournament. Up next! Oh my god, we have We have Women Sexer versus Mr. D. Going to game one. We have Woman Sexer on the chip against Mr. D on the sole bad guy. After after the convincing victory last time against the chip, I think Mr. D has has his matchup downloaded. It's the uh, burst, burst out. Woman Sexer RCs after the throw, misses the RRC, goes for the overhead. With the follow-up combo, doesn't get it. This is buttons, and that's the wall burst and the game. Perfect! Coming for Woman Sexer with a convincing round one. Full range Vortex. Does he have these combos? Not fully, but he does have some of it. Woman Sexer jumping at back, baiting the soul to press a button. Mr. D just runs in and punches him. Off a blade. Rekos. Rekos. Gamma blade up. But this is a lot of damage. He probably he's probably dead. He is dead. Round three. Rekos goes to the overhead but gets DP'd. Jabs out of the pressure. Off the blade to the other side. Basically, base a DP, but no punish. And a revolver. Doesn't catch it, but he neutral jumps and gets an anti air from uh, in response. Say your prayers. Does he have these combos? Yes, he does. World's okayest chip. Showing everybody what okay chips can do. RC. Jumping in. Again, again. Goes to the other side, goes for the command throw, but uh, Mr. T wakes up pressing buttons. He can actually punish it this time. Punishes it with the success. Tries to go for the uh, the raw dust. Goes for the raw dust again. First to get out of there. He has a lot of meter. He could have metered and killed him. Catches him. And Woman Sexer will be taking game number one. That didn't even kill much time. Oh shit, I- hello? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, um, anyway, we saw- uh, no, no, uh, anyway, we're back into the game. I hope you enjoy the, uh, <laughs> the bracket screen and me not paying attention. Um, I knew that would happen at least once. Anyway, Woman Sexy running up, getting the throw. Baiting out the throw, great shimmy by Woman Sexer. Um. 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 Uh oh. Can you keep up? I like how even the the D sync shows uh, women section doing a random D random super. 
They're just standing there menacingly. Oh no. Daisuke, please. Look at those ground-based footsies. I don't know if, if Women's Sexer actually won that round. Yeah, collusion. Yeah, this looks like they're actually playing now. Okay, now, now it doesn't. Daisuke's vision. Alright, so it looks like it desynced for everybody, so Daisuke has chosen today. Mr. D is cursed today, and all the connection issues are his, uh, his problem. So it is currently 1-0, Woman Sex or Mr. D. I believe it's 1-0. It's Yeah, I, I got confirmation. It's one zero. Uh, woman sex or Mr. D. Duel one. Let's rock. Good bird. That was nothing. Bastard. Woman sex catches him in the air. Rekas, Rekas. Goes for the media, but doesn't catch it in time. Goes to the overhead. That's punishable. Raw bandit revolver. Catches him with the media right after. RC. This is big damage. He doesn't get the follow-up combo. Oh no. Chip just took all of his life in two combos. Oh, and it, it fucked up again. Yeah. So it looks like it is desynced once again. Um, if you guys prefer, imagine if this happened in the grand finals of Evo. Wouldn't that have been great? Alright. So, I'll remake the room. <laughs> it's like perfectly normal silver chip footage. Yeah, I agree. What if they are talking on voice chat in one of the many joms, jom servers, emote servers? Oh, is this is this all collusion? Is Mr. D sabotaging the Welcome. tournament? Anyway, the uh, the room note mode is room name is up, and we are waiting once again. Uh, so it is still one zero, right? All right, so it's still one zero.
the one game that we actually did get uh, to work successfully, uh, unfortunately I had the, uh, the screen may have been a little uh, incorrect. Uh, to no fault of my own, um, there's definitely a bug with OBS. N not me forgetting to switch it, obviously. I'm perfect. Mankind. All right, and we are on the worst stage in the game. Chip versus Soul Bad Guy. Chip going in with some Rekkas. Rekka action, he's in the corner, baits the burst, so smart. Goes for the overhead once again, can't punish that in the air if you do it. Catches him. With in the gunplay. Gets the wall bounce, or gets the wall splat. Solid looking round, or chip. Gunplay is in point blank. No punish. Alpha Blade into Alpha Blade. Woman Sexer. Showing everybody what a Woman Sexer can do. Tries to, try to go for the uh, blast grab, but misses. Tries to go for an overhead, but gets hit by a far slash. Miss D, baiting out these far slashes. Expecting the chip to run in. Ten bandit revolver. Oh, the patience. RC. This is the overhead once again, but can't punish that if you block it in the air. And a revolver that's punishable, but he RC'd it. Catches him with the 6P to close up the round. Let's stick it out of the corner. Oh. 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 Woman Sexer has DC'd. Um, so that that seems like a clear clear disconnect from Woman Sexer. So unfortunately, they will forfeit three rounds. So now the score is currently 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah. Online tournaments. Real fun. Battle of the Lag Switchers. Too real. Anyway, how is everyone doing today while we wait? Do I actually play on Wi-Fi? Can, can I ban you from the tournament? What? What do you mean you play on Wi-Fi? Oh my god. I cannot believe that we have Wi-Fi players. Unironic Wi-Fi players. Why don't you get Google Fiber like me, dude? That way you uh, have like sick internet all the time. You can be a professional streamer like me. Anyway, we are back for the first time ever. Woman Sexer versus Mr. D. The battle of the Wi-Fi. Who will come out on top? Man. Um, clearly not the stream. Because none of us are winners having having to witness this. First is back. Baka. So gets a throw. Backdash is the, uh, the midi. Missed on the midi just a little bit. Wakes up the throw. RC gets him back into the corner. Alpha Blade into the wall break. Off of the throw. Very nice. Catches him with the 5, 5k. Is he gonna be in the wall? No. No cool combo for us today. Driver. Rekkas. Catches him once again after he tried to RC to get out of there. All things must pass. Oh no. I think it might have DC'd again. 
no way people don't mash out of that. Oh no! Oh wait! No. Looks like we're good. Are we? Are we? No. Uh, professional dice game, please. As you can see, high level play gameplay coming from either side of this uh, this gaming experience. Uh, you can see only the top competitors pressing random buttons, virtually virtually indistinguishable from a real match. This is what a uh, Leffen versus Deb would have looked like uh, if if Evo was on land. So, I have no idea what I'm supposed to, uh, what what the people want at this point. I say. I honestly think, at this point, we should just flip a coin. So, okay. Let's, let's have a, let's have a coin flipping stream. Are you ready for a coin flipping stream? Okay, how do I, how do I... Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, add browser. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the greatest coin flipping stream of our life. Okay, I will I will flip coins to determine who gets to pick heads or tails. Okay, so heads, woman sexer gets to pick heads or tails. Tails, Mr. D gets to pick. Okay, and let us see who who gets it. It is heads. Women sexer, women sexer gets to pick heads or tails. Oh, okay. Oh, you you actually just lost. Okay, never mind. We are back once again. No, no, no coin flipping stream for us today, unfortunately. I'm sorry, folks. Everybody was looking forward to the coin flipping stream, but we are back once again to say Woman Sexer has won 3 1 against Mr. D. That was a close, that was a close match. I'm glad, I'm glad we had to experience that. Um, Daisuke. Up next, we have. A Fury of Owls versus Dragon. I I like the idea of the coin flipping stream though. This is the the only the only fair way to have a tournament. Anyway, we are going into game number one of A Fury of Owls, Giovanna versus Great Vegetables Dragon on Leo. Mankind. This is a pretty even matchup, in my opinion. It all comes down to, like, Footsie's base. Grounded Footsie's base gameplay. Geo, Geo has better uh, ground-based buttons than Leo, but if Leo gets the knockdown, like he has right now, it's very hard for Geo to escape. I'll make it quick. He, he got the back turn throw, but he didn't continue the back holding down the button to keep the back turn. 
Ooh, a good delay. Our seed sends out a throw. Runs up the throw. What's the throw? Goes for the goes for the cross up. Oh! Gets the he very much agreed at that. Goes for the super. Where's the mix up? Is he gonna go for the cross up? No, he goes for the wake up 2D, but the wake up super beats him out. RC into the throw. Very good. Back to him. Gets caught by the 2S though. Your mine is on that, but Great Vegetables has no fear and will just DP you. Tick, uh, tick command throw. Was he gonna go next? Overhead? Nope. Tried to go for the BD, but uh, got bursted out. Goes for the tick throw. Goes for the overhead, but gets caught. RC. This is big damage, isn't it? Stop pressing buttons. Wake up, super. What a nut. He could have. He could have wake up DP and then RC it. But he woke up super instead because he's a nut. And he woke up. Woke up DP that time. DP, random DP once again, and then Fury of Owls takes the round. Great vegetables showing what, what animals can do. Oh, it looks like Dragon Dragon D, DC or something? Oh, they're, and, they're, and we're back! Once again, respect respect coming from a Fury of Owls. This thing, I don't need to take the round if you're, if you're disconnecting. Follow up. Meaty. Goes to the cross up overhead. Tick throw. Is it gonna go? R YRC. BRC, but wasn't quite in range of the throw. Goes to the meaty uh, back turn S. Where's the max up gonna come from here? Full burst. He has a lot of meter. RC, but he's not. I don't think this is gonna kill because he R RC. Yeah, he's, he's not dead yet. Submit that to say jam. And the, and the back dash to S. Dual one. Let's rock. First to get him, get him out. Oh no! Oh no, just do a low if you see him parrying. Dash up. Back dash to try to bait the DP. Goes low and then goes high. Dash up. Box of 2D. But whiffs after the back dash. Wake up super. Doesn't catch him. He catches him. Is the mix gonna come from? He does it with the 2D. Goes for the cross up again. Gotta throw those. RC? No RC. He hero bursts, RC go, going in, YY, YRC, and then to the throw. If you watch the Leon Massey video, you should know that the YRC is a garbage button that you should never use. DP. Goes for the cross up into the great throw. Great throw on great vegetables. Goes for the random cross up once again. Back turn pressure. Into the super. I don't think this is a wall spot. I think he's a little too far. Yeah, he's a little too far. Goes for the tick throw. Grabs him. Combos. This should be wall spot. Nope. He tries to the midi, but he gold burst fly out of there. Burst to stay alive. Oh, he. He, uh, RC's to get out. He's trying to do some mix up shenanigans. Oh, I don't think this is a confirm. I think he blocked it. I think that's the game. Oh no! He, oh what? What is that cavalcade of buttons that I just saw? Everybody hit the panic button. Oh no! I I completely forgot what the uh, the score is. Can someone tell me what the score is right now? It's two. It's two zero for Leo. Leo doing monkey things. Should be a wall bat break. Oh. That was scary. Look at that damage. Oh my god, risk. 
Oh, he expected the wake up super. I respect that option. I would have expected that wake up super too after how many times uh, Fear of Owls has done it. Goes low and goes high. That doesn't combo, so I'm not sure why he would do it. Catches him in the air. RC, but he goes for the air throw. He's a little bit too low for that. Goes for the meaty, but misses the meaty. Goes for the tick throw. Goes for the overhead. No, he doesn't go for the overhead. I expected the overhead. Back turn pressure. YRC out of there. Gets him back into the corner. He's gonna DP. He wants it. He wants it. Good back dash. Bait it. This is tournament. This is match point. Fear of Owls is fighting for his life. Caught him once again. Caught him once more. Oh no, he tried. He tried something, but just got grabbed. I think he expected the DP or oh, just wake up super. And Leo has taken it 3 0. Great vegetables. Dragon has continued on the loser's bracket, and a fear of owls has been eliminated. Unfortunate. Oh, it's 3 0. Let me. OBS? Hello? OBS? Okay. There we go. Alright, uh, so just just so that we don't have what we ha happened last week where Loser's Bracket plays 50 times in a row, we are going to do Loser's Bracket first right now. So up next is Jack Chan versus uh, Pordexel. I'm starting a loser. I'm starting a loser's bracket. That way, uh, if we start winner's bracket, we would have to do like they would have to. They would ha loser's bracket would have to play like five times in a row, and that's not fair to the, the the people who are in loser's bracket because it's like exhausting to have to play like five sets in a row. Anyway, I, I should probably scooch this over. We're at this board. Point of the tournament. I'm a professional streamer. After after this round of games, we will be having another five minute break. So once uh once once uh, round four has concluded, we will have a five minute break and then continue to the finals. This should be a penalty to people in Lucy's bracket in the grand finals. Yeah, there is a lose there is a penalty because you have to uh, you have to win twice. Anyway, it looks like we have the people here. So let us let's get into the match. Into Jack Chan on the Jack Chan versus Pordexel on the on the Tatsugeki. Man, it's been four hours already. Four and a half hours. Jeez. Zero drop frames. Mankind knew that they cannot change All right. society. Mankind knew so they cannot change society. We're going into game number one of Jack Chan versus Pordexel on the May. Heaven or hell. I'm on a roll today. Jack Chan has a lot of experience it's fighting my May, and my May is godlike, so let's Balance. see if Jack can do it. Versus May. Duel one. Let's rock. Jack and bursting early to get May off of him. May's, May forfeits the trumpet to try to go for the meaty. I don't respect that play at all. May's currently running out of Jack Chan. 
doesn't get it doesn't connect with the jump dust. Oh, uh, didn't charge it fully charge that. Goes up and tries for the uh it's a command grab. Watch out for the dolphin! I knew it. I knew it. May could have RC R RC that and uh finish off Jack Jan. Check out the meteors! What are they gonna do? He's just chucking! Oh, but he doesn't get the air to air in time. Unfortunately. I respect the chucking. But once you get meteors, you need to go in. First. He get he's just a he's like a foot from the trumpet, get the trumpet! Okay, here's the trumpet. Trumpet going in. Catches him on the on the ground. He could have just woke up block, but he goes just for the burst. Meteors! Oh, he's just- he's just pressing! He's just throwing bombs! Catches him with the bombs. Jump dust to ca catch him in the air. And Jack Chan taking the round. I taught him- I taught him everything he knows about just throwing items. I take- I take full credit for that round victory. Air Dolphin catches him in the air. There's a uh, Fousling in the back. Watch out for the bomb! Make out the trumpet. Watch out! He's swinging. Tries to catch him in the air. Goes for the overhead once again. Mix, mix, mix. RC to block it! What a genius! That was a reaction. That had to be a reaction. Oh my god. He could have RC'd and killed him, probably. Caught him in the air. Lock the up to Alphen. Oh no! That was probably a miss put on the command grab. And Prodexel takes game number one. The score is currently 1 0 for Dexel, Jack Chan. Duel one. Let's rock. A Dolphin. S Dolphin. Picking on below. Bananas. Faustling is here. Faustling is mad! Trade on the anti air. First to get out of the dolphin pressure. Got some bombs and a donut. Tries to go for the throw. Mix, mix, mix. RC to make it safe. Oh, but a little bit too fast on the man grab. I think this is a wall break. That damage, though. May showing what, what a dolphin can do. Tried to, uh, tried to jump dust to beat the. Uh, the jump H by May. Ma narrowly missed. Meteors? Hammer? Oh, that's big damage. But Jack can uh, confirm all of it to get more, even more. Bombs coming out? Bombs? More bombs? The bomb explosion didn't catch May for some reason. Not quite in range. Meteors? H Dolphin? That's S Dolphin. Dolphins. Got the bombs coming out. Command throw? He's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up Dolphin. But be careful, Jack. Wake up Dolphin. He tried it. it May could have supered and killed Jack there if he wanted to. First to get out. Oh, just a little too high on the jump dust. And Protexel takes game number two. Going up 2 0 versus Jack Chan. Give the May a donut. Out of the way. A jab, but gets punished by the dolphin. A gold burst, but gets blocked, but doesn't get punished though. Good conversion off the overhead by Jack Chan. Goes for the overhead once again, mix, 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 RC. Can you convert off of it? Uh, I think that's all you probably get from mid screen. Goes with the stab. It's gonna go for the grab. Oh, but it's a good 6P. The grab. Hammer coming out. Goes for the overhead into the stab. And I think this is the round. Yeah. The afro blows up and does the ship damage needed to take the round for Jack Chan. Round start. Goes to jump over the, the overhead. Gets hit by the 6P. Jack Chan just tossing items. Gets hit by. Uh, Make it hit by the anvils. 
Afro's on fire. Faustling is out. Jack runs away from Faustling. Faustling's back! Stands overhead. Stabs him with stabs the dolphin with the sword. Another Afro comes out. Bags. May has an Afro. It exploded and blew up. RC goes to low. I would have gotten hit. Fousling out with a bomb. I think that should be it. And Jack Chan stays alive and loses bracket. Score is currently 2 0 for Dexel Jack Chan. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Daisuke. Daisuke, no. Uh oh. Yeah, it's 2 1 for Dexel Jack Chan. Hopefully, I can get in back in in time. Unfortunate. So it looks like Daisuke has not lost us today. So it looks like Jack Chan has the lead in, in, in round number one. May's on very little health. <sighs> Daisuke, please. So Jack Chan take, takes round number one. Staying alive in this tournament. No, it's 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 an issue with the lobbies, not an issue with my the anybody's internet. It just gets desynced, and then if if um it gets desynced enough, then it will just kick me from the game and won't let me rematch. Anyway, May's uh May has a lead in round number two. Jack Chan taking, taking some of the advantage away. And Jack Chan takes game number four, bringing the series to 2-2 two, 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 it looks like. So currently the game is 2-2 Jack Chan. Game 5 in this lower in this loser's bracket. Hopefully, hopefully Jack saw my message and and Oh no. He didn't. Womp womp. So how's everybody doing today? So I think I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what they do on like Evo, and I'm going to just make the lobby one game. So you always get kicked out after each match, so that this doesn't happen. Anyway, in, in game number five, we have Mei having the advantage. Jack Chan takes some damage, but Mei does huge, huge damage to the Faust. Faust is on a sliver, and Mei manages to take into game one. Mei is currently on- Oh, he's still alive? I don't see any green on that health bar. How is he still alive? Daisuke? Daisuke? And it looks like May took the took the round. Portexel is currently on match point in the Jack Tam versus May. Oh, big damage coming from Jack Chan. 50 May's at 50%. Oh, May's taking huge damage. Can nothing stop the Faust Vortex? But May fires back. May uh House is at half a life. Anybody's game right now. Jack's on a sliver. Jack got a hit. The scramble. Who's gonna win? And it looks like May. Poor Dexel. Oh no! Jack won! The magic pixel comeback! Did you see the magic pixel? I didn't see any green there. I was uh, I was already about to call it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, Jack's up. Jack's up 50%. Oh, May's at low health. Low health against Jack. Jack, Jack's doing it. May's out of pixel. Can she magic pixel Jack back? It looks like she's doing it. Poor Dexel! 
Fight for your life! Throw items! Meteors! Bags! Scalpels! Dolphins! Do it! You got this! Who's gonna take it? They're both so low! And it looks like Jack Chan has taken it in game number five. Wait, five? Yeah, five. Game number five. I- I'm so upset that we didn't get to see that. That's- Fuck you, Daisuke. Fuck you, Daisuke. That would have been- that would have been so hype. That would have been so hype. Those were so such close games. I wish we could have seen them. Here, I'm I'm remaking I'm remaking the room. I'm remaking the room. Network. I'm remaking the room so that doesn't happen again. Cause that's so unfortunate, dude. I we we saw the health bars. I thought you were dead. You had like the most magical pixel I've ever seen. This, I think this is. All right. Welcome. Uh. Y three zero BP zero. So up next we have Women Sexer versus Dragon. I'll watch the- I'll watch the replay. I'll stream the replay. I probably won't have time after this tournament. Right, and we are back. So, game number one of Dragon Great Vegetables on Leo versus Women Sexer on the the neon chip. What is this like pay to win outfit? I see. I see. Wake up TP. Wake up TP straight into the the heavy slash the cross up slash. Chip is just evaporating. The blade. Haven't lost yet. It looks like round one is going to Leo. Duel two. Let's rock. Looks like you're going in. Gets the first hit, but wake up DP says no. Catches the back dash with the heavy slash. Two D runs up, but he gets DP'd anyway. Runs up two D. Chip runs up and throws to beat the uh, parry. Combos. Wakes up DP, but the double jump gets him out of range. He expected the he expected the throw so that he he expected the DP, so he ran up and a uh, didn't press buttons. Didn't pressing buttons, but he gets interrupted when Leo DPs. Fortunately, I think that Chip Chip is fast enough to punish, uh, to challenge the uh, the back turn on block. Chases him in the air. Okay, that's punishable, but Chip doesn't manage to punish it in time. Limit Sexer hits him. 
Catches him once again. He's gonna he's gonna wake up DP this time for sure. Oh, he definitely woke up DP. You see that neutral jump H? That was a fucking wake up DP if I've ever seen one. He just didn't have charge. DP once more. Parry. RC. Tries the dust. Goes to the cross up. Oh no, the beta blade instead of the Rekka! Oh, woman sexer. Oh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate for you, my friend. So currently, Leo is up 1 0. And we are back with game number two. Let's rock. This matchup for Leo is pretty random. It, uh, it can go either way. It's really, it all really all depends on like random chance on like predictions. This is like a true 50-50 because anybody can win. Chip going in. Chip jumping. Leo also has a pretty hard time anti and chip. Still, this is huge damage. Oh my god, his hot life points disappeared. Dash up 6p. It's a back turn, but so for the uh goes for the cross up, but he 6p's instead. Comes up, challenges the 2D. There's a jump K, but he goes up and grabs instead. TP's the two, uh, 2k by Chip. Goes for the cross up, going going for the overhead. No, he goes for the command grab. RC and he's dead. And Leo, great vegetables. Dragon goes up 2 0 versus Woman Sexer. Woman Sexer just had a very poor time in this tournament, going up against man after man. Very unfortunate. Here we are, going into game number three. Man Scares me every time, I swear. Anyway, game number three, let's start. Chip just runs up and grabs. But Leo answers back with a command grab. Or with a DP, sorry. Dragon going crazy with random, random, uh, random crossing splashes. Okay, so the cross up slash once again. Can't neutral jump that because, uh, Leo's back turn, he has upper body invincibility, like a 6p. Super, and Chip is dead. Goes for the overhead, but gets blocked. Big damage coming in from the Leo player. 2D to catch him. Goes for the cross up. It's throwable. Goes for the cross up again. Still throwable. Goes for the chick throw. RC. And Chip is dead. And, Le and Leo, Dragon. Great vegetables. Takes it in convincing. 3 0 against Woman Sexer. Women's Sexer has the people's champion has been eliminated from the tournament, unfortunately. Alright. Up next we have Mr. Phantasmo versus the champ. Beanie Bee.
Anyway, here we have. Welcome to SeaWorld. All the chips have been eliminated from the tournament. Unfortunate. Only top tier characters left. We have Nagos, we have Souls, we have Leos, we have Fausts, we have Axels and Potemkins. All the top tier characters. None of the low tier characters like Milia, unfortunately. All the Milias got uh, eliminated early because, you know, they're playing a trash, trash can garbage character. Uh, Bing B says he needs a second. Yeah, yeah. Faust, Faust is confirmed better than Milia because Faust is in... Are we in top 8 yet? No, we're in like top 6. This is... Yeah, Faust is in top 6. No. Yes, top 6. Anyway, here we go. We're going into game number one of Mr. Phantasmo Fanta on Soul Bad Guy versus Beanie Bee, the reigning champion on Nagoriyuki. Duel one. Let's rock. We're going in with Far Slash. Six, six S. It's punishable if he doesn't cancel it with a uh, gunflame. We have to be aware of that. Ooh, Fukio forward to the throw, but he wakes up throw expecting the DP. Back dash is gonna try to bait out some something. Fukio forward, Fukio. Vortex forward! Wire C. Fukio's back! I probably would have expected the Fukio forward. Nago is at almost full blood, so he needs to be careful about using special moves. He gets caught by the success, but no conversion off of it. Oh, be very careful, he's gonna burst! Oh no! Vortex RC, backdashes, but it gets caught by the far slash. Far slash again, but very good tech, but it gets caught by the success. Dual 2. Let's rock! Big bit forward. Good West. Burst out of the pre um, Nago pressure. Nago swinging in his sword. Go forward, but gets Volcanic Viper. Nago is at pretty high blood, so he can't use any his specials anymore. Gets hit by the Force Slash. Benny Revolver, RC. This is big damage. Oh, but misses the combo. A little bit too early. Go forward, but goes with the command grab. RC back. Stay safe from the Force Slash. Nago is just swinging his sword. Soul, Soul doesn't have an answer for it. I'm pretty sure you can whip on his shit with the Vortex. Oh, double Fukio forward into throw. Punishing the backdash. They play forward. 2S. Bates up the burst. You can't burst versus Nago that much. That would be pretty close. Fukio forward, but does nothing. Baiting out the DP. The vortex forward. Nago has a uh, full blood, almost full blood meter. Get a revolver. Six, immediate success. Beats the uh, beats the slashes with the vortex, like I mentioned before. Two S, hook your forward. Goes low once again. I don't think you can DP that. I think it would be too far. Goes with like a man grab and beating B, taking game number one. The champ. Show him why he's the champ. Score is currently 1 0, Beanie B versus Fanta. Yeah, the, the, no, the no rematch is here, so that doesn't bug out. Oh, Fanta switching to the May! A strange choice. Mei is not a good character versus Nago. This is a hard matchup for Mei. Walking again. Runs up. 
because it's a side that's super punishable on blocks, so you need to be careful. But it's one of the only maze ma only good, like, low moves. Oh no, he's gonna burst! Oh, he's dead. He's actually dead. He's so dead. Yeah. You know, you know watch out about that. Good version on May, like, to know to uh, RC and wait it out. BDB being very passive against the Dolphin Pressure. Fanta running up and getting the command to grab. You can't be that this passive against Mei. Darcy would have killed him if he did it. And Fanta taking game number two after the May switch. Can Beanie Bee make the adjustment? Beanie Bee needs to be more more aggressive against the, the dolphin pressure. If you hold, if you keep holding down, if you keep holding down back, he'll just run up and grab grab you like that. Duel one. Let's rock. You have to be, you have to be careful, but you can't back dash against dolphin either, because it will just chase you down. Good anti-air. You're at, you're at an advantage when you when you bought the dolphins. You, you can just press buttons right afterward. Oh, gets a command grab. Now he's full blooded once again. Oh, this is gonna hurt. He was gonna pop if he didn't go for it. You need to be aware of that when you're playing against Doggo. Watch his blood gauge and see when he, he wants to go for the command grab. Beanie Bee. Striking back. Duel two. Let's rock. Burn okay, goes to the side, gets punished for it. Fukio forward catches the back dash with the, the stab. Wakes up throw. Goes to the meaty. Nago has full blood. He can spend it. Oh, he didn't spend the he didn't spend the RC, but he runs up and Fukio forwards to get the command grab. Very good play by Beanie B. He could have probably ended it before that if he uh, RC'd. Because he had full blood. He could have done a lot of damage there. Score is currently 2 1. Beanie B 2. Fanta. Fanta going in. Going in with the May. He's locked into the May for the rest of the g for the rest. Let's see if, uh, Duel one. looks like BNB has made the adjustment. Goes for the 2S to beat out the 6P from May. Oh, challenging the Dolphin, very good, with the 5S. Or 5K, sorry. Big damage. Super? No super. He's full meter, he's gonna burst! Watch out, BNB! Oh, uh, bad backdash by by Panta. You know that he has full blood. He's gonna be swinging. Look your forward. Careful about your blood gauge, but he just he can't. Uh, he just throws him right after he lands from the jump at H. Six P. Catches whatever May wants to do. The jump 2H from May. An ambiguous cross up. Dolphining. Good good challenging the dolphin pressure. But unfortunately, Nago doesn't have much blood left. He needs to be careful. Oh no, he's gonna burst! Watch out! 2S. Quick go forward. Goes for the command grab to take the round and the match. Very strong performance from Beanie Bee. 3 1. And Beanie Bee will continue on. The champ and Mr. Phantasma will continue. Will go to the losers bracket. Up next, we have a user name versus Mora. Oh no! Oh no! This is this is a bad matchup for P Potemkin. Oh no! We are about to see something. I. Viewer discretion is advised in this next 
If you have if you have young children present, please turn off your stream. This is not for their eyes. This is not for their eyes. This is not a good matchup for Potemkin. But the question is, does the username know the matchup? Does he know all you have to do is jump back ass? Potem like Axel, if Axel jump back S's and then immediately does jump H. It beats every one of Pot's approach options. It's a such a bad matchup. But if Pot does get in, he can explode Axel pretty easily. Like this! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay. He's out. He's out. Command throw? Okay. Just jump back. Jump back and use name. Okay. No, don't jump in! Get rid of impact. RC? Oh, he could have blocked that! Gets Mega Fisted in the air. Catches whatever he was trying to do, but gets Mega Fisted back! Oh no. Music name. Oh no, the Carob Buster at the start! Oh no! This is a sweep. Oh, jump. Go forward. Catches him with the command throw. He's out! Just jump back. Just jump back. Oh no. Garcid. He, he bursted. You need to get out of there. I'm username, no! Why RC? Ah! And Moro takes game number one. Isn't able to keep a Temkin out. Looks like. Mizer name going for the going for the ground based footsie gameplay. You don't want big ground based footsie against Potemkin, because he can armor through a lot of your your pokes. This, so this matchup is pot favorite? No, this matchup is super not pot favorite. This matchup is awful for pot. You just need to know it. Dual one. Let's this is very Axel favored. Yeah, yeah. Just keep keep jump essing. Just keep jump essing. Yeah, jump S. Jump S and anti air. Axel Bomba! Let's go! This with a spin, but he managed to block the Mega Pistol time. He's gonna go for the command throw. I knew it! I knew it! Anyway. Musenade has made the adjustment. He knows the matchup now. He knows. All you have to do is jump back S. Jump S. Make sure you make sure you punish him in the air. Oh no, he's in the, he's in the corner. Okay, he got out. Temkin's running forward. Oh lord, he coming. Goes for the command throw again, but Pot jumps back. Goes for the command throw again. The music name needs to be careful about the uh, the hammer fist in. Moro has meter, so if he if he hammer falls in, and then RCs, he could have died. He could have just died there. Oh, music name taking game number two. This is like this, this this match is like having a heart attack, man. Anytime Pot is, is close, you're just you're just you're just scared. You're scared. Score is currently one one. Moro versus a music name. Yeah, 50 yeah, 50 50. <laughs> this is not a, this is not a uh, pot favorite matchup. But this is but if you don't if you don't know the matchup well, it it can be scary. Dual one. Let's rock. Jump back S. Jump S. Jump S. Jump S. And another one. Good confirm. Goes for the overhead. And then guess what he does again after that? Jump S. Goes for the command grab. Goes for the command grab again. Username putting on a clinic right now. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't get the follow up. Oh, first! Get out of there! Okay. 
Hits him with the unblockable. It takes it takes round one. Duel two. Let's rock. It's one one, right? I'm pretty sure. Is it two H? Hits him with the jump H. Get him out of the air. Oh, good anti-air. Hits him with the command grab once again. Put it, I'm using name putting on a clinic, showing you how to zone out Potemkin. He could have RC'd and killed him. But it doesn't matter because he hits him with the anti air. I'm using name is now up 2 1. At least it's not Zangi for Seth in Street Fighter 4. Oh my god. Thank you for reminding me of that. Where, you know, Seth has a teleport and sniper where you could just hit him. Yeah, this is this is a very poor matchup for Potemkin. An amusing name made the adjustment after the first game, and now he's showing you how it's done. Duel Caps being an axle down player. He's in. He's in a little bit. Watch out! Oh, he could probably punish that. Good anti air. Good anti air by Amusing Name. Catches him once again with Jump S. Good convert. Con uh, good hit confirm. Hit him. Another one. Is he gonna go for a third one? No, it just goes with the anti air. Oh, he hits him with another one. RC. And takes the round. Match point for Amusing Name. Dual two. Continue on to the winner's bracket finals. Catches him in the air. RC. Catches him once again. Pot's jumping. This is exactly where uh, Axel wants him, and Amusing Name takes game number three in a convincing 3-1. Congratulations, um, Amusing Name. Continuing on to the winner's bracket finals. Fortunately, that was a horrible matchup for Moro. Anyway. After, after that, I believe we are going to be taking a brief five-minute break. Um, allow everybody to uh, go uh, get some water, go to the bathroom, brush their teeth, you know, normal stuff. We shall be right here. Let me... You're all... I'll be nice. See you in five minutes.
the sky The broken world will cry for humanity Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Guilty Gear Strive. Wait. I'm, I'm sure... There's no way that I can't play the music for the game while I'm playing the game. That would be dumb if it gets DMCA for music inside the game. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. Alright. So up next, we are we are continuing on with the losers bracket, and we have Moro versus Jack Jam. Jack Jam and Moro, come on down! All right, here we go. Game number one of Jack Chan versus Moro. Faust versus Potemkin. I don't know who actually wins this matchup. I would assume that it's good for Faust. But who knows? Anyway. On to game one. Duel one. Let's Mega Fist in. That's punishable. Good punish by uh, by Jack. Meteor's coming in. Big combo. Oh, doesn't get the uh, combo. Fousling in the back. Anvils. Hammers. Faust coming in. Overhead. Doesn't get the doesn't get the confirm in time. But Arson's out in case. It's hit in air to air. Hammer fall. You're minus on block after that. Hammer fall. Whiffs, he gets him. There's a bomb, bomb in the back. RC, Mega Fist. Gets it overhead once again, but doesn't follow it up with anything. Moro looks like he wants to uh, 6p it. Wait, this is a rematch from one of the first rounds, isn't it? Oh, Jack is out for his revenge after, after Moro knocks him into losers. Duel 2. Oh, the read, the hard read. The jump back. Gonna catch the back dash. Jack going for overheads. Watch out! Oh, he went for the empty jump into uh into Pop Buster, but he couldn't get it. Good six speed by Jack. Fastling is here. Fastling is mad. Big damage coming out. Oh. First, but good thing Jack didn't do follow up, otherwise, he could have punished him with the hammer call. Bomb coming in, and Jack goes up for the grab! What a genius! I don't know what you're supposed to do as Potemkin about that. I think you get hit no matter what. I think maybe you have to jump back and block, and then Faust gets hit by the bomb. Either way, it's pretty scary. Anyway, Jack Chan is up 1 0.
Battlest Gaming is real! We know who the People's Champion is, ever since Women's Sexer. Women's Sexer has passed on his title of People's Champion to Jack Chan. Duel 1. Let's rock. Don't get Patep, get the trumpet! Okay, Faust has a trumpet. Coming up. Goes for the throw, but the, the minions uh, punish him. Gets hit by the hammer fall, but the gold burst. The 5P is not far enough to reach. Goes to the overhead, throws out, gets false sling. Heavenly Potemkin Buster, I respect it, but it doesn't work. Duffed it, didn't get the frame perfect, otherwise it would have done the wall grade. I'm trying to get the trumpet point blank. No RC from Jack Chan. Probably would have finished off the round. But goes for the overhead while the minions were coming. Jack Chan loves doing that overhead. He goes for the overhead more than the 2D. So honestly, I, I block high a lot more often than I block low against Jack. Jack Chan doing the run up, baiting out the, the throw. He baited out the, the tech again. But he didn't. Uh, he did the shimmy, but he didn't uh, fall for it. Coming in. Has the trumpet. Catches him. The minions! Goes the overhead. Gets six speed out of the mix mix. RC, but he's gonna get Pop Buster! No, I knew that was coming, Jack! Side head. Hammerfall, but he got him! I think. I don't think he has muted RC to follow, finish a follow up combo. I don't even know if he can fit follow up combo it. Oh, but he runs up and grabs, and I think that'll take it. Me, President Gabriel. And Jack Chan taking a convincing 2-0 lead against Moro. Getting the salty run back from before. You knock me into losers? Well, I'm knocking you into out of the tournament. But can Moro, Moro make the comeback? Bow Super does about six damage. So, uh, it's not the, it's not the best, it's not the best super in the game. Duel one. Going into game three. Six B, entering, entering him. Mouseling coming in. Anvil coming in, goes for the overhead. Throwing out the bomb, but, uh. Not get, getting hit in time. Goes for the low this time. The afro. Jack Chen has the afro. I don't think, uh... Does Karuna impact ignite the, the afro? This is the question. Bowsling. Trumpet. Oh, he, he was a little bit too far. But the minions come in. He RCs the uh, stab because uh, Moro is really good at uh, 6 p that. Afro coming out. Jack Chan get just taking the Afro. He doesn't care. Mora telling him get off me. Stop jumping at me. Hit. Throwing out some back bombs. Meteors. And the meteors chip him out. Meteors do so much chip damage. On match point. Mega Fist coming in. He goes for the he goes for the pop buster. Gets the meteors coming in. Jabbing him. Goes for the overhead. Gets the anvil. Not going for the meaty, but instead gets the foul sling. Runs up, gives him the afro. Okay, where's the mix going to come from? Gives him the afro. But he already sees it. Big damage coming. But I don't think he gets he don't get, he doesn't get Oki off of this. Tap his twice, goes for the overhead, stabs him, but gets 6p. Don't those, don't those bag bombs. Oh, he got him! I think he's dead. Oh no, but doesn't get the combo. And he hit, and that will take it. Jack Chan goes up 3-0, and Morrow has been eliminated from the tournament. Jack Chan continues on into top four. Faust showing that he's a top tier character, unlike Milia. Congratulations, Jack Chan. I'm making top four. Up next, we have 
Mr. Phantasmo versus Dragon. So as far as I can, if, if Fanta goes for, so Fanta plays both Mei and Soul. Mei versus Leo is very is Leo favored, in my opinion, as a Leo player, and Soul has a very favorable matchup against Leo. So let's see how he, what he chooses. And going into it, Fanta seems to be going with the Soul, ride or die on the Soul versus Great Vegetables Dragon. Man. Duel one. Oh, we have the Baroque music in the background. Gets hit by the, the 5k. Bam traps. Oh, but he just does it. The, the DP hitting, hitting him even through the cross up. Both players respecting each other's wake up. One thing about the Leo, Leo vs. Soul matchup is that Leo, his fireballs go straight through. Tyrant, wake up Tyrant Rave, beating the monkey Leo. Leo's fireballs go through Soul's gun flames. Oh, he should have let it rock. You need to hit him low. Just hit him low when he does that. If Leo, if Leo ever parries in your face, you can just hit him low. He can't block any any low attacks. This was 2D, uh, 2D, but trades with the 6 8, uh, 6S. Got the success. Oh, he punishes the far slash with the with the parry. Very smart. Breaks up DP. Get the far slash. Gunflame. If you do if you do far slash into gunflame at max range at soul, uh, Leo can reversal light fireball. Oh, did he go for the throw or did he block? Oh, he didn't block the second hit. Wake up DP. Catches the back dash. That wouldn't have comboed and that would have been punishable if he just blocked. This is the first thing. To the DP after. Goes for the command grab to grab him. Gotta watch out for that. Any, anything other than blocking beats Leo's command grab. There's a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff in in this matchup to keep in mind. Soul can't really go for gun flames, and Leo can't really go for his heavy fireballs because if Leo goes for heavy fireballs, uh, Soul can on reaction vortex and get a full screen punish from it. And uh, Soul and Leo's light fireballs can go through Soul's gun flames, so you need to be careful about that when ending your screen uh, strings with a gun flame. Just goes for the raw, uh, goes for the raw, uh, cross up. Goes for the first, get out of the pressure. Catches him in the air, but doesn't convert off the combo. Goes for the back near, but he 6 P's it. Where's the gun mix up? Goes for the, uh, <laughs> goes for the overhead, but then cancels it immediately. But wake up DP. Back near, where's the combo? Bring him back to the corner, but doesn't convert fully. Yeah, you can't you can't DP through uh, max range max range uh, gun flame like that. RC goes straight to the two D to catch a back dash, but then Soul just wakes up DPs anyway. Dual two. Let's rock. Soul tried to go up for the run up throw. That's punishable. I don't know why people do that. Like I saw Sonic Fox do it, but it's not like the smartest idea. Beat the beat the command throw by just pressing a button. Smart, smart play by the soul player. Vortex goes through the dash. I don't know what's going on. Box the that box the DP, but goes for the cross up. The Leo is backdashing every time after his uh, after his S slash. So maybe I wonder if the Soul can rec recognizes that and will go for like a dash up afterward for safe combos. For the cross up, he goes low. 
It's a 1 0 soul, right? I'm not. I, I forgot who's uh who's winning. Turns on back turn from max distance, not recommended if against soul. Counter counter is the uh success. At that range, uh, 2D is definitely punishable, but he wakes up he wakes up DP anyway. Just for the cross up once again! You need a bot you need to grab those. Go straight for the uh, super to end the combo. Ends black turn pressure, but he wakes up Tyrant Rave. That's a lot of damage. Why does that do so much damage? Going for the oh no, he doesn't go for the uh, cross up that time. Goes for the cross up, but he texts it anyway. Oh, he fades the burst. Very wise on on the Leo player, knowing that you he, he'll probably try to bait it and held it. Leo. Takes another round, and it's 1-1. One, one. I think it's 1-1. One, one. I'm not 100% sure. Can someone confirm that it is 1-1? One, one? Oh! He's switching to Mei! Soul doesn't work out, so he's switching to Mei. This is a very poor matchup for, for Mei. Almost all of Mei's pressure can be beat by Leo's parry. You can, on reaction, you can you can poke out Far Slash from Leo pretty safely, because Mei can't whiff punish it with uh, with Dolphin. Because if you hold down the parry, you can just parry into to Heavy Berserker Slash and get a full combo. But does Great Vegetables know it? Looks like not. Oh, he gets the anti-air. Gets the cross-up, that was gross. Just dolphining him. Can't just let him do that. Oh, and he wakes up Orca Whales! That's one way to beat the back turn pressure. Duel 2. Picks up. H Dolphin, but gets a uh, the Berserker Slash, and he actually threw the cross up this time. Leo's pressing buttons, trying to fuzzy jump. But you're stuck in the Dolphin Vortex. Big damage coming out. Leo and just a sliver. Can he make a comeback? No, he can't. Fanta up 2 1 against Leo. Tatsugeki. Is it okay if I say that uh that I think Great Vegetables is playing the uh the matchup wrong? Or will I get pinned on on Jads again? Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Yeah, Maze Maze not good against uh, Naga, in my opinion. Going for the gold burst after the uh, after the block. Strange choice. Dolphins, dolphins, or dolphins. There's the combo. Ooh, the double close slash. Baited out the TP. He goes, he goes for the tick throw once again. After that jab, he always goes to the tick throw. I don't know why he doesn't just do that off the ghost flash. It's the same. It's pretty much the same thing, except you get counter hits. Combo drops it. Oh no! He's gonna wake up still dolphin. Oh no! It would have worked too. Only Pub found the button to change the depth to anything but English. It was on Japanese by default, so I changed it to English. Why would I listen to a language I don't know? Okay, first, phase in the corner. Does a dolphin. Oh, he doesn't block the second hit! But doesn't get a combo. If he just jump S instead, he would have done a lot of damage. YRC, jump up. 
Now you're in the Leo Vortex. What's he gonna do? Goes for the command grab, but he jumps it this time. RC, does he have the combo? And he does! Takes the takes the round after the after getting the command grab. Match point through Fanta. Slide, go under the power slash. Corner versus Salt. Oh, and he grabs him! Gotta be careful about those uh, the timing, midi timings on back turn Leo. And goes hide this time. Wake up Dolphin. Wake up Borka. What are you gonna do? Goes for the front. Goes to the front. Oh, he didn't block. Oh, he probably he probably got uh, trip guarded. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Fanta takes the round. And congratulations, Fanta. I'm moving to top four. Dragon has been eliminated, showing that Leo is a worse character than uh, than G Faust. Um, make sure that we uh, we we have this recorded so that we all know that Faust is a better character than Leo. No, it's not. Wait, you didn't? Apparently, I'm dumb, and I don't know how to count to three. So we're going on to the game three. It's currently 2-2? Two, two? Man. Duel one. Faust is not- Yeah, Faust is not better than Leo yet. We don't know if that's true yet. So we're on to game- We're on to the final game. Apparently, I'm a big dumb dumb. Leo Vortex, where's he gonna go? He's gonna go for the tick throw this time. Counters. Goes for the tick throw one more time. Goes overhead. Goes for the gr goes for the cancel to the grab. RC. Going back. Does he have the combo? No, he doesn't. Oh, but he baits out the TP, but it doesn't punish it in time. First to get out. Is there RC Bubba? Grabs it. Gets him, but. That was not a combo, by the way. He just didn't block the the cross up. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I'm dumb. I'm, I'm sorry. I have twelve things. Oh no! Goes with the tick throw. You can't see! Chill! Go for the tick throw once more, once more. Oh, baits a burst! Doesn't get the doesn't have the charge. Goes for the dive kick. Doesn't DP afterwards. Combos? Does he have him? Oh he goes for the charge, it's dust on wake up! Very risky seeing as he had full bar and he could have he could have done literally anything and beat you. Tick throws. Goes for the high. Goes high again. Fever. Back in the corner. Oh, he doesn't have the call. Confirm, but he goes for the charge dust once more. Doesn't work this time. Anybody's game. Whoever wins this takes the t uh, takes the match. Same here. Oh, goes for the tick throw. He's dead. And he's dead. Unfortunately, you guys didn't see the uh, when it was bracketed where Leo clearly won. So, uh, uh, this is a good matchup for Leo. It's not my fault. Okay. This is um, Leo's only good matchup is versus May. Anyway, Dragon takes it three two versus Mr. Phantasmo. I was pretty sure that he won on Soul, right? I'm, am I actually crazy? Anyway, up next, up next is we're doing the 
Not loser's bracket pyro. We have Jack Chan versus Dragon. Can Dragon go the distance? Careful, don't rewind the bracket with all the backpedaling. All, all we know is that Leo is an equal character to Jack Chan right now. So. I, I told you that it's a good matchup for Leo. What are you talking about? I'm not downplaying Leo. You guys suck. I'm not Pika. Okay, I'm not a million main. Copium. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Great vegetables on Leo versus Jack Chan on Faust. Who who does who do the people want? Type one if you want Leo to win. Type two if you want Jack Chan to win. Do you want me to be a down player, or do you want Jack Chan to win? Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Y'all are blaming the beasts. Or hell. Don't blame the beast. Replace everything. Letting the intro letting the intro rock. I will rise above everything in my way. Leo versus Faust. Duel one. He does 2D. Jack Chan's already tilted. Goes for the tick throw. You're in the corner versus Leo. Jack has a lot of experience playing my Leo, so he should know this matchup pretty well. I told him how to win this matchup, so if he doesn't win this matchup, he doesn't deserve to win. Anyway, Le Leo's, Leo's doing some stuff. You know, pretty typical. No, not that much damage. RC. He's in the back. Jack Chan makes the comeback. Can he make the comeback? Blocks the 2D. Punishes it. Goes to the overhead. Watch out for the bomb. RCs. And then what punishes the jab. I'm in high spirits. Carry on with your strip. Duel 2. Let's rock. Gets hit by the scalpel. Doesn't get the pull. Get, doesn't get the pull follow up. Just keep throwing. Keep throwing items, Jack. Just keep throwing items. There's nothing Leo can do. Goes for the randomness. Presses buttons to avoid him. Very good box by Jack Chan. Blocking the the Leo vortex. Goes with the cross up once again. You can see it coming. It's so slow. Chaz burst. He burst out. Throws out of the bomb and takes to the round. Round three. I think the outro is rough. Duel three. Let's rock. There we go. For some cross ups. Goes for the parry. Goes to the overhead one more. Oh, Jack Chance so good at blocking that. Doesn't matter though because he's not punishing it. You can press buttons afterwards. He's used to me where I actually know how to play Leo. Going for the pen. Going bananas. Slits on the banana peel. Save air. Slits some bombs. Goes low. Fousling. Throw items. I told you. Just keep throwing items. Nothing that he can do against the foul sling. Goes the overhead. Goes for the overhead one more time. Mix, mix, mix. RC. Bates the burst. Burst safe combos. He's gonna go for the cross up. And air to air. Jack Chan takes the round. Takes the match, sorry. Showing these Leo players who's the boss. What a what a bad character. All these people up playing Leo. All these Leo up players. Faust is the real top tier. Top two. Top two character. <laughs> I've never said Leo isn't a top tier. Stop. Stop seething. I'm not seething. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. 
Duel one. I mean, Leo. Leo's no Milia. She's not. A top, he's not a top tier like Milia. Meteors. Keep throwing items, Jack. Keep throwing items. Nothing you can do. Wake up TP, but he burst out of that to get out of any any follow-up pressure. Jump back to beat the cross up. Throwing some bombs. Beats him in the air. That's punishable. Didn't punish it in time though. First, watch out. Fire seat. There's an overhead wire seat to get out. He took my advice and learned that all you have to do to beat Leo in his back turn is to wire seat it. If you watch the Leon Massey video, you should know YRC is the worst button in the game. It's just a waste of meter. He's gonna go for the cross up. He got it! Jack Chan is so smart right now. I'm a little biased, I'm not gonna lie. A little biased. Goes for the overhead, blocks it! Jack Chan with these blocks, unbelievable blocks. Wire sees to get him gets him out of there. He back he wire sees back, but then Jack just bursts. You can grab him. He went low. Young items. Get the trumpet. Catches him in the air with the overhead on the back dash. So smart. Jack Chan is playing out of his mind. 2 1. Or 2 0, sorry. Man, I can't believe Jack Chan is getting carried by this top tier character, bullying the poor low tier Leo like this. Unbelievable. All these Leo up players. <laughs> this isn't fair because uh, Jack Chan has practiced versus me so much. He knows the matchup so well. Yeah, he's gonna. Daisuke is gonna nerf Faust because he saw the Jad's second annual bi weekly fighting game tournament. Daisuke, if you're watching, fix your lobbies, please. Oh, good punish. Very few people know that you can actually punish that at close range. Oh, you punish that! But not with a slow button like that. The online tactics of doing an unsafe move into a counter. I haven't seen that since Street Fighter. Grab a- Leo doing Leo things. You know, even a, even a bottom tier can win a round now and then. Stone items. Items coming out. Slips on the banana on the cross up. Beats the overhead. How did he just phase through that jump slash? There's no justice in this world. Or that didn't hit. Does a 6P? Get to get to your Faustling. Faustling's coming to save the day. Bomb coming out. Dive kick. More pressure overhead. Stab. Oh! The, the teleport. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna run up and grab, but Faustling is there. Getting blocked the low. Faustling coming in to bait the back turn Leo, because Leo can't block when he's back turned, by the way. Just another reason Leo is a bottom tier character. Can't even block. Match point for Jack Chan. Can he, can he do it? Got him. Wake up DP, but he Jack burst out of there. Faded the burst, but didn't get much pressure from it. Crossling coming out. Crossling's not on the screen anymore. Oh no, back turn pressure. It's gonna go. He didn't go high this time. Crossling coming in to save the day, giving you pressure. I don't know why Break Vegetables gave up the corners that easily. Caught him in the air. Anvil. Anvil again. Goes for the high. Goes for the overhead. Mix, mix, mix. RC. Can he kill him? This is gonna be close. Not quite. One more hit and Jack Chan has it. And he 2Ds. And Faust goes to lose his bracket finals. And Leo Dragon has been eliminated. Great vegetables. All these Leo up players getting beaten by top tier Faust. 
Let's go Jack Chan. The people have chosen their champion with the low loser's bracket run back. That was 3-0, right? I think I'm I'm just gonna post 3-0. Because it's it's 3-0 on our heart. It's 3-0 on our heart. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have winner's bracket finals coming in. We have the champ. Beanie Beat. Oh, they're just going in. I don't even need to ping them. I don't even need to ping, ping them. They're, they're ready to go. They know what they're doing. We have Axel Low versus Nago High. I have no idea who wins this matchup. We'll see. I'm using name. Going in with the Axel. Hope you in. Oh no, he baits the burst. Guys here. Fukio in. Oh, this is just a brutal beatdown. But they're back to neutral, so can Amusine make the make the comeback? Keep him out. He's pretty high he's pretty high on blood, but the jump in. Keeps him out. Gets him caught with the frame trap. Spin. Fukio in. Can anybody stop this man, Beanie B, from terrorizing everybody? Axel fighting his way out of the corner. Now Goryuki has pretty, pretty uh, high blood right now. He's at 50%, like two bars of blood. Can't really use any specials to count it out. You're in the corner. He's got him back. Oh, Fukio in. YRC. But he's in the, he wires seed in the air. And the command thrab right after the blood rage takes it. Duel three. Let's Who is gonna fight the future champion Jack Chan and loses bracket? Let's find out. Go jumping in. Gets hit by gets hit by the jump S and the snail. Catch him in, trying to catch Axel in the air. Goes for the command grab. He has like almost full blood. You need to be careful, Beanie B. You're about to blood rage. I don't know how he's gonna get out of this. He has to go swinging. Good guess on the on the low. He bursted, but. He just blocked, he bursted a little bit too far. And Axel Low taking game number one, a user name, showing us how Axel is played. Um, connection lost. All right, hopefully everything is, is okay. So currently the score is 1-0 here, let me, Let me, let me see if I can do this. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Alright, Nago's going in. Against, he's got him in the corner. But his blood meter is rising. He almost has two bars. Jumping in, his blood is going down. He goes in. He got hit. I think that's the game. And he goes in for the throw. Duel two. Let's rock. Goes for the command grab. Goes for the command grab to beat him swinging. Snails back. Spin. That's that's even on block. But he gets him out of there. Right now, right now, Beanie Bee is jumping in like a madman. I think that music name should be a little bit more passive and just wait for him to jump in at him. First to get him out, but he goes for the command grab, but gets punished by the command grab, and he goes for the bite. Oh, this is really bad. He's gonna have infinite pressure because he has infinite blood, but he gets the command grab. He could have RC'd it and killed him. 
Go in. RC and staying alive in this match. Dual three. Let's rock. No, no. Axel Will finding out the corner does the command throw, but RC is it to make it safe. Nago jumping in once again. You see you see him jumping in. I mean your name. You need a you need a anti-air him. Big punishes if you get him out get him out of the air. Couldn't follow up with the, the damage. Nago has a lot of blood and a lot of meter. He supers, but that's punishable. Because he didn't have RC. Axel has burst, but he baits out the burst with the back Fukio. Genius. Genius play coming from Beanie Bean. Bringing the score. 1-1. One, one. Wait a minute. Okay. There we go. It really is anyone's game at this moment. We're at 1-1, Nago versus Axel, a user name versus Beanie Bee in this winner's bracket finals. Duel 1. Let's rock. 6B going in. Full burst. Ooh, gets slashed out of the air. This is a lot of damage, but he doesn't follow up with the combo. Axel does wake up super and catches him. Will Nago jump in? Nago jumps in once again. Will someone, will someone please tell a user name to stop jump, to let Nago jump in and anti pair? Goes for the RC, uh, goes for the command grab once again, but RC's it. He keeps going for the command grab and he keeps, he keeps getting jumped in on. Just be patient. Patience. Hit. Did go in? All oh, that damn it. See how much red there is there? He, that that man had a family. Uh, Beanie Bean is about to burst. If he uses any more special moves, he can't. He can only slash. Just just do pokes. Use your name. Oh no, he catches him with the go in. First. First in, RC to catch him. And Nago takes the game. Goes up 2-0 versus Axel. So I think the I think the biggest issue that a user name is facing is that he's not anti-airing the, the Nago jump ins as much enough. He's he's Playing a lot of ground-based games, which is what a, what a lot of Nagos want to do, but Beanie Bee is turning, flipping it on his head. He's going crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm right. It's 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 one it's one two. I've been I've been counting. I have a counter on the screen. Nago going in, pressing buttons, doing Nago things. Oh, he backdashes the command grab. That is, should not work like that. Punishes it with the Beyblade. Snails it back. No, no follow up from Renson, so it's safe. This is the. He's blocking, for sure. Oh, he doesn't punish it, though. You need to jump forward that. He bursted. He has meter, though, so he can super. Yeah, he's. Look how much chip that does. Jesus. Nago wants to jump in. He's looking to jump. Jumps in again. Goes in for the bite. Match point for Nago. The Beanie Bee. The reigning champ. I see Someone actually managed to punish that. I didn't know that was possible. Goes for the command grow. Grabs the Fukio. Keeps jumping in. Goes 
goes for the jump in once again. But Argus sees the command grab to get the anti-air. Now go anti-air, Zimbo with the 5k. This is big damage. Oh, he gets the command grab, even though he's full blood. This might be it. Axel fighting for his life, burst in the corner. Meaty, Blade Blade, that's even, but he gets burst just in time. RC, the burst, 2H, jumps in, hits him low, and he hit, oh, and Axel stays alive. A muser name playing out of his mind, living on a sliver. 6P, go, now he's going in. Ukyo forward, does the spin, it's, it's uh, zero on block. Okay. Beats him before he can anti air him. Goes for the command grab. He's playing a little bit passive now. Beanie B has stopped jumping in. And just as I say that, he goes for the jump in. Almost all these conversions are because Beanie B keeps jumping in on him. Gets the command grab. So Beanie B has so much blood to work with, but Axel has meter and burst. So it's going to take like two hits for him. RC goes for the RC in response. His burst and good burst. I would have I would have baited the burst if I realized that. But the Beyblade beats the jump back, and Beanie B will take it 3-0 versus Axel. Congratulations, Beanie B, on being our first grand finalist. Um, it was two one. It was three one, right? I think it was three one. All right. All right, it looks like our next match is Jack Chan, the people's champion, versus a muser name in a first to five as for the lower bracket finals. Alright, this is this remember that this is losers bracket finals. Both the losers bracket finals and the grand finals are first to five. I have no I've never seen this matchup, but I feel like this is probably good for Axel. Um I'm not sure because I feel like Axel is better at the ranges that House wants to play in, and he can punish most of the items. But I in the end I have no idea who will come out on top. Yes, it's in Mankind Axel's favor. That they okay, I, I, I trust you. So instead of reflecting but, but on Shiv, you're Shivabra, you're you're a, you're a Faust down player. He's top he's top three in the tournament. That means he's top three in the game. Out we go. Yo. Heaven or hell. Let's see how how Jack plays this. Begin operation. No more messing around, eh? Axel. Axel. Versus Faust. Faust. Duel one. Let's the run. nice chillax in music. Jack is currently in the corner. I guess music, music is a hit, but you can follow up on the counter hit. Snail, keeping him back. Bombs coming out. Snail, that's punish. I think that's punish a lot. But he gets hit by the command grab. But not before grabbing a delicious jelly donut. Afro coming out. He's going out the bombs. And gets hit by the command grab. Sticking round number one. Dual two. Now it's getting a bomb. A bad bomb, but not quite in range to uh, convert. Catching him in the air with the overhead. Going for the jab overhead. But uh, Axel mashed it out. Faustling coming out. Faustling is mad. But he gets blocked. Big combo. RC. It should be a wall break, but no, the drop combo. This command grab, but he gets a hit anyway and the, and the wall break. Oh, 
Slash. Jack Chan playing on the other side of, of the continent in the air, avoiding everything Axel can do. Turns out Axel does have a range limit. Oh, cool burst. He's trying to get out of the corner, but it's got, gets blocked, but not punished. Hammer coming out. These dive, ki these dive kicks are very hard to anti air. You have to pretty much preemptively anti air them. That's punishable, but the user name didn't get the punish in time. It's anti air, but no Axel Bomb and follow up. Instead, he gets the command grab when he lands on the ground. It's him out of the air. Oh, but he hits him with the bomb and the command grab. And Amuser takes game number one. Pretty cool. Jack loves playing very air heavy. Yeah, um. Faust, Faust is really hard to anti air. His uh his dive kick is is very hard to anti air. You need to be like on point. Plus it's very safe on block. It's not very safe, but you can follow it up with the, the air bomb, which you need to like know that they're gonna do. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of Music name trying his hardest to make Make it hard for Jack to be the anime protagonist he's meant to be. He's already a harem antagonist protagonist, but it, will he be the anime protagonist? Fousling is out. He's coming for you. He reads the name jumps over. It's the Afron light. Blows up, and then he bursts to get out. Man grab one more time. First, but out of range, you get misses. DRC. Tries to do the bomb in the air, but he's anti air. DRC. Coming back. Jack fighting for his life in this corner. It's pinned down from all angles by the Axe player. That kick. Trying to air to air. Gets the air to air to jump dust. Mix, mix, mix. Goes to the overhead. He tries to stab and he's gonna get it. Yeah, he, uh, he burst though. Him, but the command grab, every time he gets the, the, the uh, anti air, music name loves to go for that command grab. Fortunately, Jack Chan scarecrow to the front this time. And Amuser takes it 2 0. Amuser name versus Jack Chan. We're coming up at six hours, and I'm, I'm gonna be real, I'm a little tired, but we're going up having the, the finest matches of the tournament. I'm using the name Axel versus Jack Chan Faust in the Losers Bracket Finals. Winner of this goes to Grand Finals where they have to fight Beanie Bee. Let's see who wins. Mankind. Duel 1. Jack Chan with the afro in the middle of the screen. There's a there's a trumpet there. Jack got the trumpet. He's coming. Doesn't get the air to air. I knew for a fact that he was gonna jump, but Jack didn't, didn't realize my brilliance. Um, goes for the command grab one more time. Axel coming in, goes for the stab. Fun fact, after the uh, after the overhead, Jack loves to go for the uh, goes for the scalpel stab. Oh, our PRC on the scarecrow to get the uh, the air throw. Jack Chan loves to go for scalpel after the overhead. So if you if you wait for it, you can uh, 6P it, get a free knockdown. Because the uh, scalpel hitbox is very big. 
RC, he bursted, but but a music name knew he was gonna burst and jumped it. Very smart. Tackle coming out. Next, next fix. Fastling coming out. Fastling, he's coming. He's mad. But good whip punish. Good whip punish on the overhead. Good back dash on the com uh, on the command grab, avoiding it narrowly. Ooh. Misses a 2K. He was a little bit too far in the air. Oh, he goes for the DRC, gets the command grab. What's the mix gonna be? Is he gonna go for the instant overhead? I don't know what he was trying for, but the music name mashed out and brings the series to 3-0 in losers bracket finals. Win. Axel showing that he is the true top tier character and not Faust? Yeah, it's five. You're not done yet. I don't know why people say best of, right? Because it, it's it's less intuitive, best of, because you don't you don't count games like that. It's easier to just say first two, right? Because if you say first to five, you know that you need to win five. If you say best of nine, you're like, okay, uh, divide by two, round down, yeah. But, no, it's easier to say first to five. I will fight, I will, I will die on this Mankind hill. Knew that they can I will die on this Duel hill. One. Let's rock. You know what math you need to know to know how many games you need to win on a first to five? None. You just know there's five games you need to win. Good anti-air by Jack Chan. This is big damage from Faust. One of Faust's biggest damage combos. Gets hit by the... Uh, BRC back. Back S. And gets hit by the jump S. Duel two. Let's rock. Mix, mix, mix. Goes with the overhead. Stab. Air to air with the oh the cross up. Mix, mix, mix. I would not have blocked that. First to get out. RC, get in. Okay, where's the mix gonna come? Goes for the meaty into the instant overhead to take the round. Jack Chan fighting back. Can he make a comeback? Can he go the distance? Right there, but goes for the command grab again. I was about to say that he goes for that command grab every time after that, uh, after that anti-air. Should've stopped when you have the chance. So anyway, music name taking it 4-0 versus Jack Chan. Last game of Losers Bracket Finals, uh, hopefully, um, not hopefully, but potentially. Anyway, let's go into it. Game number five. A music name versus Jack Chan. Mankind knew that believe in the run back. Society. So instead of reflecting Music name, you're not supposed to believe. Blame the beasts. That's called collusion. Out we go. We don't appreciate collusion here. Yep. Duel one. Let's 
And a bomb. Knocking it. Hot potato. Goes back to Axel's side at the last moment. First. Axel's in the corner. Mix, mix, mix. But gets the punish, but doesn't get the 2D. Back dash to the overhead. Very good. Bowsling is out. Bowsling mad. Goes for the overhead one more time. The champion with the overhead goes for the 2D into mix, mix, mix. Couldn't convert off the combo. Goes for the overhead but doesn't connect fully. And Axel, a username, is on match point. Axel's in the corner. And Jack Chan make a make a comeback. It's by the jump pass. 6P gets him gets him with the overhead. Mix, mix, mix. What's he gonna do? Goes for the grab, but missimes it a little bit. And to air, but the command grab hits him one more time. PRC tries to go for the uh, Faust's command grab, but doesn't get it quite. A little bit. Some out of air and meteors. Jack Chan's pressing, pressing items. Just hit. One more hit. And that's it. A user name takes it. And Jack Chan has been eliminated from the tournament. And user name goes to grand finals. Congratulations, a user name. Five zero. Anyway, Faust top three, top three characters. That's the these are the top three characters in the game: Nagori, Yuki, Axel, and Faust. You've heard it here for here for uh, but, but, uh, apparently I cannot speak. So here's what the brackets currently look like. Anyway, we are here. So. Let's take a five let's take a brief five minute break while we get ready for grand finals. Since uh, Beanie B has to eat anyway. Pub is dying, we reached the end. Yeah, I'm dying a little bit.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have pinged Beanie Bee, and he was eating last I pinged him, so we are currently waiting for him to get back. In the meantime, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing okay. Been streaming for 6 hours and 17 minutes and 7 seconds. My god. I need a... My poor voice. My poor, my poor innocent voice. Once uh, Beanie Bee gets back, we will begin the Grand Finals. But until then, um, I guess we can, can look at the, the beautiful waiting screen for, for a moment more. We just got heard from Beanie Bee, and he said he is almost ready, so we will be starting soon. Just stand by in just a moment.
we are still waiting for Beanie Baby to get back. So any second now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Beanie Bee is back, and we are about to begin. All right, start whenever. We're about to go into grand finals. Oh, I need to, I need to fix this. Um, Okay, and we are back. We are into grand finals. Beanie B versus a user named Axel. Nago Nagoriyuki versus Axel Lowe, the run back from winner's bracket finals. Beanie B going in, goes for the command grab after the Rekka. You gotta watch out for that. Goes for the spin this time. He has so much blood to work with, he can just Fukio for days. Gets jabbed out of Fukio this time. Trying to frame trap him and BB takes round number one. Do not undermine yourself. There's fight within you yet. Duel two. Let's rock. Going for the jump as quick as with the snail. Overhead. Snail, but he didn't jump it in time. Ooh, he actually managed to punish it. Very good, good awareness by BDP to actually finish that. Uh, rinse and follow up. Okay, flying pressure against Fukio. He has a lot of blood to work with. First, get out of the corner. Command grab RC. Jumps in. Uh, jump S. Jump S again. But he gets the command grab and takes game number one. So BDP goes up. 1 0 versus a user name.
Let's see if Axel Lowe can make the adjustment. Nako's gonna win both NA Evo and Jad's tournament. Well, one is more important than the other, obviously. Duel Who the fuck cares one. about Evo? Anyway, going into game number two, 6B to start it off. Going for the Rekka into the spin. Rekka into uh, Ukyo back. Nago used a lot of blood there, so he's gonna start swinging now. Going in the air. RC slashing. More slashing, Fukio back. And more slashing, taking a clear, easy game one. Or round one, I mean. Crimson. Bomber follow up, jumping in this time. Goes for that follow up, but he jumps in. Doesn't get punished in time. Fukio in. Oh my god, this damage! That was meterless! He used a lot of blood though. Just block. So he's gonna start swinging. He goes for the Fukio. I. He's gonna. He's gonna burst. He's gonna burst. Just block. Just block. Just block. Just block. He goes for the command grub. RC. Oh, if he RC, he could have kill, killed him. Got a punish on the. Nago has full blood to work with it once again, but he hits him with the jump to S to take the round. Dual three. Let's rock. Spin to win. More spinning. Fukio forward, but he gets jumps it out of him. He has full blood, he's about to burst. He can't Fukio forward. He can't now, because he swung. He just barely avoided uh blood raging. Fukio forward. Yeah, he got him. Survive for now. RC to stay safe. Rinse and follow up, but he got slashed and the burst bait into Fukio forward takes game number two. Beanie B going up 2 0 versus a user name, Axel. In this grand final tournament, will this be a sweep? Will the champ keep the belt? Will Beanie B continue to show that he is number one? Last time I played BDB, I, uh, I played his Gold Lewis 3-0, and I think I won 3-0. I also played his Nago, and I think I beat him 10-0. So, just so you know, if, if BDB wins, it just means that I'm the best Jazz player. So, by the transitive property. Anyway, we're going in, get, get man throw. You could follow up on the Renson, or on the, on the Snail. Shutting down. Jumping in. Beat the Pukio forward. Slashing. It's almost full blood. Can't really follow up, and I'm using name taking a convincing round one. Not even use neither person using burst in that round. Get to start. Fate blade forward. Go for slashing overhead. But he burst in the air, the Canadian burst! How's the maple syrup up there? Fukio forward into the clan. Whoa. Nago has so much blood to work with. He wants the Beyblade. He needs the Beyblade. He Beyblades. Fukio's forward. First to get out. RC out. Goes for the overhead and the snail. Jumping forward. RC going for some slashes. Going for the frame trap, but he just mashes out of it anyway. Mistimes it a little bit. First forward. Into the combo. Oh, he goes for the throw. Oh, what is going on? I don't think he'll get chipped out. No, he won't. He had enough meter to FT it. Very good play by Amuser Name. Taking game number three, bringing the set to 1 2. Solid play by Amuser Name in this grand final turn set. Who will come out and be the top tier character? Will it be a user name on the Axel Low, or will it be Nago or Yuki? Why did if if Axel Low was a top tier character, why isn't is it Axel versus Axel? Why didn't Caps make it to the grand finals? We Do shall one. never know. Maybe he was throwing for content. Maybe he's the true down player from the games on purpose. We'll never find out. Into the game, a lot of risk built up on Nago. Gets the. Gets the uh, command grab. 
try to sit out. Okay, Faith Blade says Whiff Punish. Faith Blade again. Goes for the Command Grab this time. So much blood. So much damage. What happens to your health, Axel? Another go for head. Bomber follow up. Oh, Rensen's. Rensen. Oh, but he does the, the spin this time. Can he, can he convert it? Axel chooses the burst. Beyblade's a whiff punish. Slashes. Slashes. Goes into the record to the command grab. Goes to the command grab again. This man had a family. RC, he is. He would be dead if there was no wall there. The wall saved his life. Yeah, grab, jumps to the grab. Got him out. So Bomba. Goes to the command grab, but he jumps it this time. And Beanie B takes game number four, bringing the series one to three. This is uh this is first to five. So first to five, Beanie B needs to win two more, and a music name needs to win nine more to reset the bracket because he's coming from losers losers. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, gonna spend the win. Spinning again. Why is that so minus? Why is that so fast recovery? First to get out of the corner. Overhead to anti air. Jumps the, the regular throw. BDB has a lot of blood spent, so he just needs to block this. Oh no, the command grab. He, of course, he would go for the command grab. He needed to go for the command grab. Who's gonna burst otherwise? Back. Uh, jumping in. Oh, follow up. Goes for the command grab to beat the Fukia forward. Back to neutral. Oh, he's fun. He beat. He catches him with the fart and close slash anyway. So much blood. There's so much blood, but it all got reset with that command grab. On a sliver. Catches him with the snail. Manson follow up. Manson air follow up. Catches him with the air button. The snail gets hit by the Beyblade. Taking the game 1 to 4 on tournament point. BDB, will he be the back to back Jads champion? Went the distance last last time in the last. Yeah, it's first. It's, it's to 5. It's 1 4. One more, not one more game, it's nine more games. Because the music name is going to make the run back. Wait, no. It's going to be, he's going to win four times. And then BDB is going to win four times, so that's eight. And then he's going to win five times. So four plus four plus five, divide by two, score root of five. He needs to win at least seven times. Duel one. Let's run. So seven more games. Follow up. Punishes the follow up. Yeah. Two H. Bama does a command grab, but he backdashes at the last second. Tried to go for the command grab again, but he challenged it this time. RC, a music name, pressing every single button on his pad. Jacked him out uh, for Tokyo. RC, first him out of there. Catch him, but didn't combo. He has so much blood, he's gonna burst any second now, he's gonna burst. The man grab got him. So smart by music name. Bang the win. Bang. Bring out, bring him down. 
Giving them with the command grab out of nowhere, being a little bit too passive, waiting for him to press a button. Got him. Got, got meter. He can RC this. Oh no, he could have probably killed him. Oh, he's dead. That does so much damage. Oh my god. Should have RC. I think if he RC the command grab, he might have actually gone the ground. Go forward. Go back. Go back. Hit him with the jab. That stand jab seems to be either Kokyo forward or Kokyo back. Catches him on the way back. He has a lot of blood. He has spent a lot of blood. He can't really use that many specials. It's Kokyo on forwarding. Doesn't catch the command grab. Just a little bit too far. Waste up super. I think he might have recovered in time. No, he doesn't. But Beanie B still has a lot of blood. He needs to uh, he needs to recover. Goes forward again. Goes for the command grab. Baiting the command grab. Jabbing. Gets him with the air to air. Beyblade spin to win. Bait the shimmy back, and that is it. Beanie B is your Jads returning back to back champion with a convincing 5-1 in the grand finals of username. Congratulations, Beanie B, on being our the next America's next top Jads fighting game tournament champion. Um so yeah, con congratulations once again on showing everybody that you're the best. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Also, congratulations, um, username, on, on your getting second place. Congratulations to everybody involved in the Jads Fighting Game Tournament extravaganza. Can Beanie Bee get a third in the third annual bi-weekly um, triannual fighting game Jads tournament? That's the real question. Or maybe, maybe the real champion, PubSub, will actually join up in the tournament and win. If I'm not too busy compensating. Um, third annual Jack Chan? He says he's taking it next time. We're gonna we need to screenshot that. Put it on our wall. Because if he doesn't take it, oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta learn that Maxwell matchup and get my pub sub commission. Pub sub is gonna rig the tourney. <laughs> of course I'm gonna rig it. Name name something more name a more iconic duo than any Guilty Gear tournaments and, and rigging. Nothing. Anyway, this is PubSub, and I'm signing out. Take care, everybody, and stay safe. Peace.